We're live. Woo! Are you hyped? Yep. Woo! Let's wait for people to show up, I guess. Yeah. And refresh this till I see the stream show up, and then I'll share that till around. You, till you see intelligent life form. That's not going to happen, because we are hosting this. <laughs> so you're going to say that's not going to happen because you're refreshing YouTube and everyone on it's an idiot. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry about us. Just, you know, joking. But okay. <laughs> Rich is hardcore. Well, the, the one at the top of the subscription things is a long play of Genghis Khan t to Clan of the Grey Wolf. What is that? It's a Koei strategy game for the SNES that is borderline incomprehensible. <laughs> Hi, breadcrumbs! Welcome to the stream! Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, I'll just share this one around. Yeah. The best part is when I right click to go copy link address, one of the options is block all videos from this channel. Oh my god! <laughs> because of an extension I installed. Oh no! <laughs> Uh, what's up, man? Welcome. Pop out chat here and pop okay, out chat yeah. here. Okay. Bubble has threatened to join us, so it'll be fun. Excellent. How's everyone doing? I have to find the topic that people wanted us to talk about. Um, give me a second. Uh, <laughs> I control F topic on Patreon, and guess what pops up? What? Self help topics, chapter two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, suggest stream uh, topic September. Okay. Okay. Hi. Well, you're typing really intensely there, Richie. That's me tweeting. Oh, okay. Tweet away. Soul level one or soul level fun? <laughs> Welcome, Emlyn. Hi, Dave. Oh, hey, Emlyn. Okay, I've tweeted it out. Okay, hey, Bubble. Perfect. Uh, Kathy is Bubble. Hi, Bubble! People are asking about the Age of Ancients. Do we- is that the topic you wanted? No, well, you can answer, but, um, no, the, the topics well, are something else. L Loki has talked about the Age of Ancients a fair amount. Loki and, like, has talked about the Age of Ancients a fair amount. So, like, the, the Age of Ancients, I think, is, like, prior to that, there was there was no such thing as linear time. It's kind of like that. Linear time did not exist. Because the way Loki explains it is, like, the reason that the dragons are everlasting is because, like, there's no, there's no present, there's no future, there's just this eternal now. And then when the fire is introduced, that, like, alters the world around it. Everlasting dragons are eternal, but the fire altered the world. I think the, the skull is a giant skull, because there's also giants in the tomb of the giants. <laughs> giants in the tomb of the giants! But apparently there's a lot of echoing. <laughs> um, on whose end? I don't know. I can't it, am, I, am I echoing, or is Richie echoing? Was 
it might be Richie. Are your headphones really close to your microphone again? No. Okay. There's no, apparently there's no echo. Oh. Oh, I think I think it's a joke about you singing. Oh. <laughs> so, the problem is that the streams are so poor technically that I assume it's correct. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have, apparently I have some reverb. Uh, so Richie has some reverb. Does it does it mean it's? Maybe if you turn oh. me down a little. Okay, I turn you down. Because I was very, I, I listened back to the last yeah. one. I was very, very loud. Okay, yeah. okay, I turned you down a bit. Is this okay. better? I'm like nowhere near the mic. I'm like two feet away from it. Two feet away. Are you are you excited for this, Richie? I've had um, something to drink, and this is this is how the stream's gonna go. Yeah, that's fine. I I think like. Um, I'm, I'm okay, because, like, last time went pretty, um, pretty smoothly. Mm hmm I was expecting us to be stuck on the Capra Demon for, like, hours, but... But I'm a pro. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we're gonna, because we're soul level one, we're not gonna get any stronger. So we may as well, like, just do the four kings and stiff now. Richie? Yes. If we can't get any stronger, why am I stronger than yesterday? Because I mealed you a bunch of items. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Thank you, Richie. Um, so this is the wrong way. No, I'm going to Blighttown. Oh, we're going to go to Blighttown, okay. Isn't that what we just said? No, we said we were going to Dark Root. I, I thought, what? Okay, let's go to Dark Root. Well, I can go. I can meet you in Blight Town. Okay, you know let's go to Blight Town. <laughs> okay, let's go to Blight Town. Well, one of the topics yeah. that a patron asked us, and it was Doom Kitty three thousand. What is right. the story behind the names of patron tiers? Do you know well, what the really, <laughs> names of patron a, tiers are, for you to Richie? Ask. Okay. That's a thing for you to ask. I think you can you can help out because we're gonna go through them. Yep. Okay, so the uh, like least expensive patron tier, which is two dollars, is called Berserker. Why would you say that? Yep. Is? I actually don't know. Because we are like a Souls Bloodborne channel or whatever, and Reborn yeah, channel. <laughs> it's Souls Bloodborne, but mostly Hitman Reborn. <laughs> and um, what is the inspiration for? those games partially the fighting fantasy books from steve jackson games what no what is like the one anime that's like everybody's like oh look at all the references from that anime uh when you when you play uh when you have the crystal ring shield you do ultraman's like energy ring attack so obviously ultraman is the biggest influence no it's the one with the guts and griffith and behalith streets of rage yes streets of rage so yes. that is why this tier is called berserker it's a reference to streets of rage yeah okay the, i'm gonna play streets of rage i don't even know what that is it's a game with a character called behalith in it oh excellent Unless I've got that wrong. There's some there's some beat em up where um one of the bosses is called Bailet. Oh, this is really pretty, I love this. Look at that. The blue light. Um, so you know how you said you were going to Blight Town? Yeah. This isn't the way to Blight Town. This is not Blight Town? When I said Blight Town Oh <laughs> When I said Blight Town, this is what I had in mind. <laughs> Well, like, you can go there, and you can't summon me until you... Oh, now I understand! Okay! I understand your confusion. Because a few days ago, you were like, you should go to Nulando. And then I kept telling you, yes, I will go to Blight Town. <laughs> and then you were like, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. and now that's why you were like, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Um, so... Where do I go? Take two. What? What are we? Are you going to Blight Town or are you going to New London? Oh, uh, which way is? 
What is Blight Town again? I'm having like memory loss. What's on second? What? No. I don't know who's on third. Blight Town. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, it's the thing okay. that's happening again. What are you drinking? <laughs> no, you're saying like what, who, what, where, and like it's confusing. Okay. Um, you can get to Blight Town from here. There's like another elevator. Not the one you came down, there's like a, another spiral stair that leads up to a, um... Ah! The oh, other sorry. spiral stair, not the... I saw a ghost, sorry. It was, it was spooky. Yeah. I think that's the one, right? Yeah. You head to the right, and you'll get to the... Yeah. Okay. So there's a there's a door that'll lead to, um, White Town. You'll be able to unlock it because you have the master key. Also, FC LFC has a Russian question for you. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, um... Okay, what is your Russian question? Okay, I have to, I have to, um... Um, sorry, I'm watching the screen, so let me know what the Russian question is, please, Richard. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm waiting. Thanks. Because I know there are these two guys here, I remember that. I think I can yeah, take them. Yeah. Wait, wait, so I just... have range now! Haha! <laughs> yeah, how about that? Boom! 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 They slow, and I'm fast. Boom! Hmm. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. I think this one gave me a concussion. Oh, Jesus. There, okay, I got this. Is he dead? Nice! Good job, Sid. Uh, something about Lennon and then something about Dark Souls. Wait, there's more to the question. Okay, okay. Uh, remember, can't pause this game. Yep. Um. Oh! Oh, shoot. It's oh, not shoot. the casuals like Sekiro. Can you pause Sekiro? Yeah. Uh, okay. I panicked a little in my mind, even though they had like no health left. I'll be back and I'll be stronger than ever. Um. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm. Ugh. The truth is, I'm not a very good Slav in terms of like Slav history, because um. Yeah. What we learned in school when I was still in Russia is like some random history I don't remember. We learned like ancient history. We learned about like Egypt. But I think the actual Soviet stuff or whatnot would come in later grades and I wasn't in like Russia anymore. So I Yeah. I so I don't I don't know that much about like I actually learned more about like Russian history when I came here and when I was older so um you know oh yeah so the, the second tier right because we're talking we're answering yes. your question the second tier which is five dollars it's the Yamamba tier yeah, and I, I have no idea what that means. Do, do you know what Yamamba means? Is it Russian? It's supposed to be like a like a mountain witch in Japanese. Oh, I didn't kindle myself. Oh, yeah, yeah, Yama, yeah. Yeah, and the reason I picked that is because I took a Japanese class back in the day. And um, it's just like a word I learned. Why are you going back up the elevator? Because I need to kindle. No, there's a there's a bonfire in oh. Blight Town. Oh, okay. And so, and this is the class where I met Star Forsaken. So it's okay. like a special significance. Um, equip, there's a, I should have given you a thing called the Rusted Iron Ring. Um. If you equip that, you won't be slowed by the swamp. Okay. Yes. All right. Awesome. Um, so it's like, yeah. And then the, um. $10 tier is called the Rusalka tier. Mm. Do you know what a Rusalka is? Rusalka is the ghost of a drowned woman from Slavic folklore. Mm -hmm. 
Dian... And she lives mm-hmm. in the water and she tries to drown you. She's like a uh, like an evil mermaid kind of deal. Mm-hmm. Do you know what Elsa Rosalka is? It's a tier on patreon.com slash law. <laughs> Do you know what Elsa Rosalka is? Uh, what? It's mermaid. Yeah. Like, just literal mermaid. Like, uh, Little Mermaid in Russian, the movie is Malinka Rusalchka. Like, Little Ooh, Mermaid. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, and I put that because I guess it's like... I don't know, I just felt like it. It'd be one of the better known, like, Slavic yeah. folklore creatures. Yeah. Oh, I think I also did the patron when we were... Or did that tier when we were either recording or talking about recording the cryptids. So, like, there's a little inspiration well, there. you're leaving part of that out. Oh, what, what am I leaving out? Which is at that point we were discussing talking at, um... <gasps> right, Slavic! Slavic folklore cryptids. Things which you then <laughs> forgot about. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I'm not gonna chew this and I'm gonna go. Because yesterday... I almost choked on my salad, so I'm trying to be responsible. Yeah. yeah. Um. <clears throat> um. Okay. And the twenty dollar tier is the guiding moonlight tier. Um. What's that a reference to? <laughs> it's um. <laughs> What do you think it's a reference to, Richie? The hit game Kingsfield. <laughs> mm-hmm. In what way? Well, when that was uh, when they made a PC port of the Kingsfield engine, they called it Sword of Moonlight. Really? And you you want to make your own Kingsfield game, so it's a reference to that. Oh yeah! Excellent. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was thinking more like a reference to like Bloodborne, Ludwig, Maria, but I, I yeah. like what you said better. Yeah. Um, and then. So if you just make it to the bottom of the swamp, there's that bonfire and you can summon there. We'll mm-hmm. fight Aldrich. We'll fight Aldrich? Uh, well, she's kind of like Aldrich because she eats people. Oh. Aldrich does not eat people, that's defamation. He should call his lawyer. <laughs> we should have Nick on where he defends Dark Souls bosses against the likes of you. Well, I've, I've noticed that there's like a bunch of viral YouTube series that are like real lawyer reacts to blank. And uh-huh. they're all more popular than us. Yeah. Like, anything's more popular than us. This channel is just like... If there's another podcast that comes out, calls itself The Snack Covenant, the host will be rich and sin, it will still be more popular than us. Do you, do you want to get in on that, then? <laughs> Maybe we should. Um, <laughs> the $25 tier is the horsefish tier. Richie, could you explain horsefish to those who don't know? Horsefish is a secret carol rune that you discovered. <laughs> What's the story behind you discovering it again? Um, okay, basically, you I think you and I were talking like normal people without being recorded. And I was telling you that um, about like one of my good videos. And it, it was about the... Um, oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. Oh, Jesus, I'm panicking. Um, um, so, yeah, I can see you going the wrong way. I'm just like... Money, so uh, this is... Okay, okay. Okay, <sighs> okay. Oh, no, don't die. Eat some, eat some purple moss. You have... Ah! I... Uh, eh. It's okay. It's okay. I'm getting closer. I made progress. It's good. Yeah, also, the, the sniper guys stay dead, so it's fine. Excellent. Um. So, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah! You and I were having a normal conversation, and then I was telling you about this this lore video I did on a rune, uh, guiding the the guide the guidance rune. And okay, and I was telling you that the guidance rune looks like a, 
And I couldn't remember what it was. And I'm like, you know, the thing, the horsefish. And you were like, horsefish? <laughs> and then when we were exactly streaming. exactly what I sound like, yes. <laughs> when we were streaming at some point, you were like, oh, and if you make contact to Sin, you will get the horsefish rune. <laughs> and because I forgot about it, but you remembered. And then it just, you know, just stuck. And the biggest tier for now. Hello, oh, Mike. Hi. Sorry. Is the fifty dollar tier, and it's called the Matryoshka tier. Yes. Do you know the story behind that? Well, it's like a Matryoshka doll, but it's Yoshka. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And if people join that tier, they get shame. Yep. <laughs> There's no other rewards. Well, well, <laughs> there is a reward. You get all the previous tiers, Richie. Yeah, yeah. You get uh, w the first chapter of SHT, that's very important. Only available on yeah. that tier. Yeah. <laughs> and in those episodes, we tell you how to improve your life <laughs> through a series of self help advices. Yeah. Because <laughs> clearly we have it together. <laughs> and uh, Dave is asking about why the Crow and Bloodborne drops guidance. Do you want to talk about that? Okay. Or do you? Okay. No, because we're done. Okay. Yeah, go. Okay. So the right, I I get this now. You the get crow, this now after four years the, took you long enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burp, it burp, did. Burp, burp. The crow that drops guidance right, it's positioned so that it's facing this window with all of these like, with all this light streaming through it, and then when you go up to the crow, it's like, it has unique programming where instead of having the regular crow AI, it's programmed to leap toward the light. So clearly it's, it's like the guidance is referring to it being drawn toward the light coming through the window. So that, that's like, it is, it's not just like a totally random thing, like it is, it's meant to be based on where the crow is and what it does. Do you think... The guidance is telling it to finish what Ludwig started. Yes. <laughs> I'll go to the nightmare and kill Maria. It's got this horrible squawking voice. Why am I not so fuck now? I'm not Okay. Yeah, this is where I died last time. This is yep. very Demon Souls, because Demon Souls has. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm panicking. I'm panicking again. Uh, You'll be fine. I just don't know where to go, and I, I'm trying to. Just keep going down. Oh. You know, there's a little delay between. Yeah. Yeah. We discussed this. This is so, the wrong way. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the only way for me, though. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. There are dogs now. Oh my god. Why did you go this way? I, I panicked, okay? I panicked and I you don't know. You panicked and ran toward the enemy. <laughs> yes. D okay, okay, everyone. Okay, everyone. Let's let's do look up the definition of panic for Richie. Panic definition. Panic. Sudden uncontrollable fear or anxiety. Often caused, causing wildly unthinking behavior. Yep. Do you want to retract your question as to why I ran toward the enemies? I'm just not sure why. If you were frightened of something, your response no, was to No, it's not it. you frightened. You panic. It's not the same as frightening. It's like, oh my god, what do I do? And then you produce so you, unthinking you, you, behavior. You are the true, you're the true berserker. <laughs> yes. I guess when you're I am. when you're not thinking rationally, you just attack everything inside. Maybe. Okay, so next time you get to that point, uh -huh. instead of running toward that direction, mm -hmm. go the opposite direction, you can safely drop down like some more of the wooden <coughs> planks onto the okay. water wheel. Okay. Oh, what am I doing? You have to operate the lever. Right. Why don't messengers do it for me? But even those messages, they have to be told. Oh, put up, put up, put up, put up. Thank you. 
So another question from patrons is, is there anything you guys, this is Agent Funk, by the way, who right. won the t-shirt and it should be arriving f between today and um, like Tuesday, Ooh, fingers crossed. Is there anything you guys want to see from Elden Ring from a mechanical standpoint? Should it return to the slower pace of Dark Souls or something faster like Bloodborne? Anything else you'd like to see, like mounts or flying monsters, training like Pokemon, etc.? Apparently it does have mounts in it. Oh yeah? Yeah, that was like one of the things that From said. Nice. Because it, like, it's going to be a, a, like a very, very large, like kind of open world game, so... Mm -hmm. They want you to have a horse in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's cool. Um, I'm hoping that, like, they fix poise because they kind of broke it in three. <laughs> it was made for experts. What? Okay, what I really want in Elden Ring is pointless areas. <laughs> like as weird as that. Like Ash Lake. Mm -hmm. Like how Ash Lake is just there, there's not really a reason you would ever go there. And like Moonlight Butterfly is a boss that's just kind of there, you don't really need to fight it. Because <clears throat> yeah. I feel like one of the reasons that the world of Dark Souls 1 feels a lot more like fleshed out and, and like, not believable, but like whole in comparison to 3 is that it's just full of places that are just there. Mm-hmm. You know, because, like, I like one of my issues with 3 is, like, it felt a bit like I was, like, on a tour and there was someone showing me everything. Yeah. And I didn't feel like it was discovering stuff in the same way that when I played Kids 1 and, like, I figured out that... Or, no, like, when I played 1 and I figured out that, like, oh, the Great Hollow, this random tree here opens up. And then I'm like, oh, it goes all the way down, I wonder what's down here. And then I went down the bottom and it was like, oh, that's the area from the intro. Mm. And there's no... There's no real reason to go there. I mean, I know it's part of Sigma's quest and everything, but, like, you, you can safely ignore it. <clears throat> yeah, and you were saying the same yeah. thing about, I think, Kingsfield, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. where the world yeah. just exists and you just happen to be in it. Yeah, that's... I mean, I because I, I think I feel that way about, like, the early <gasps> Zelda games as well. Well, like, the the first Zelda is full of, like, there's just these random caves and things that are just there. Um... Ah! And the, the ah, game doesn't... Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. I'm so scared. Um, are the ring knights human or pygmies? I think the pygmies might be humans. It's confusing. Because... Oh, you fell off the wheel. Because, nah. like, the whole pygmy thing is, like, in the intro, they, they, it's, they call it, like the small the small people or like the short like the the sort of they mean small in like an insignificant way like they're not the gods and they say like and the 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 fourth soul was found by the small people meaning like the ancestors of humanity so i guess like pygmy i think that they call manus primeval man in the dlc and i think that might be what they're getting at but like the pygmies are sort of like pre-human but still like they're humans before the current generation of humans i don't know but meridak i don't kill bugs just today okay so in the office somebody started mm -hmm. freaking out because there was a spider but i kind of got past my fears of spiders a little bit um so they were like kill it and i'm like no 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 don't kill it we have a spider protocol in place so I took the designated spider protocol cup with the designated clipboard and I like trapped him in the cup and I just took him outside. So I think I can do the same with this insect. Right. I just need a bigger cup. Um, okay. So is there anything you want to see from Elden, Elden Ring? We just answered. Oh. <laughs> Good answer, Richie. What do you what what do you want to see in Elden Ring? I don't know. I just want to be like surprised and I want it to be something new and refreshing. Something I'd like. 
Well, you, you know Game of Thrones better than me. So, like, um, what's something from Game of Thrones that you'd want to see? But you know? I, I don't really know it. I just watched mostly the scenes where people stab and kill each other and crush each other's heads and, like... I mean... Like, if you could do that in the Elder Ring, yeah, that would be cool. Just crush someone's head with your bare hands. You know? Um, last and first man bringing up, like... Are the item descriptions propaganda to manipulate you? I don't think they are. I think that's something they introduce at the very, very end with, like, the stuff about patches is written by patches. But, like... I think the, the item descriptions are as close as you get to an omniscient narrative voice outside of the actual narration. Mm -hmm. Uh, FCLFC wants to ask a very serious question. Okay, sure. Oh, no. About yeah. items and patches. Okay. I see fire in the distance. Yeah. Ooh. Oh shoot! Oh, I fell. Okay, no. Uh, okay, this is where I this is where I messed up. Oh gosh. Okay, this is where we panic. Okay. Yeah, this is, this is where we panic. Okay. In DS3, the load screen shows item descriptions and patches favors in the background. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Okay. Uh, where do I go now? Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Yeah, keep going down. Uh, oh, it looks like on the mill. Yeah, go on the mill and just go oh, down. Jesus Christ! You can ride it down safely. Okay. Okay. Oh. Apparently, you can make out patches on the item description screen. I haven't noticed that, but I, I don't play three that much. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So okay. when you get to the bottom, hug the wall and run. You'll be able to get to an item <laughs> description. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Ah, oh, Jesus! It's the bug again. Yeah. Bug, I'm regret keeping. Oh shit, there's two of them. I <laughs> regret yeah. keeping you alive. Oh no, is this how I die? Also, yeah, you're um, you're relying on uh, fire to kill fire enemy things. Oh you my god, Richard the bully! Oh look, you're relying on fire to kill fire. I didn't bring it up until late on. Oh, so you didn't bring it up so you can wait until I've done it a few times so you can bully me so you admit it. I'm glad you admitted it on a stream live. Okay, hope this bonfire works. Come on, work, 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 work. Come on, sleep, 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 rest, rest, rest. Yes! We okay. made it! Okay, if you if you revive, you can uh, grab me. I'm okay. Bonfire should be there. Also, um, for reference, the reason we're playing remaster is because of the password matching. Uh, how do I... Oops. Right. Um, if you just go browse and use, you don't need to equip it. I'm confused. How do I use... Oh, okay, there it is. Use item. Okay. Hey, Dalek! Welcome! Hey, Dalek's here. Thanks for the donation! I'm gonna get a Mars bar! Okay, we're selling. Dalek has been single handedly supporting my chocolate addiction. Oh, good. Thank you, Dalek. By the way, we have an episode with Dalek on our channel. Yes. People should check it out. So, you will leave your sign some- oh. It's by the bonfire. Dalek, can you tell us your podcast name? So people can check it out. So this is going to summon Mildred as well. So we'll have to take out Mildred. Yay! Oh no, she's- she's not on our side? Well, no, because if we beat Mildred, her sign will appear with my life is. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, so we beat her up, and then she's like, okay, I help you? I think that's what happens, yeah. Well, that's, that's weird. 
Yeah, I like I like Mildred. Mm. On PS3, I had a Mildred cosplay build. Mm. And I'd wait in Blight Town by a Mildred sign. Why am I poisoned? Because of the poison swamp. Mm. Okay, so weirdly, no, no Mildred. She's not showing up. She's shy. Oh, there, she, there she is. Oh. Baby, come here. I'm gonna fight this mosquito. You killed Mildred? Oh no, you're so mean. Oh, I can range. I keep forgetting I can range because I'm so not used to that. Also, Quelag is totally immune to fire damage. So, don't so why did you tell me to become? Oh, sabotage. So I can't big. I can't beat Quelag. So I can never get to the four kings. I see how it is. That was your plan all along. <laughs> I got humanity and the knife. Um, another question was Bob suggests a long Australia QA with Rich. It's gotta be tough living upside down. Yeah, Richard, tell us, how is it how is it living upside down? Well as as you have explained. <laughs> oh no, what did I explain? I'm scared. <laughs> uh Winter is warm and summer is cold. <laughs> oh no, you're confusing me again. Richie, I just entangled the Australian seasons in my mind. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel like I know nothing again. <laughs> no, but it's true. It's true. Win winter is oh, warm hey, and summer is cold. Oh, hey, Jeremy's here, I think. Yes. Jeremy! Yeah. Oh, good. Well? Eden's here as well. Oh my god, Eden! Eden, Richie was just telling us that winter is hot and summer is cold in australia no, you told me no that. i told you but also your your christmas is in the summer yeah yeah so what <laughs> so your christmas is really cold actually if no it's... no Chris, christmas but is you warm. just said summer is cold no you said summer I is said cold summer because is you cold. had issues understanding hemispheres <laughs> Why doesn't Australia move to, like, my hemisphere so it's easier to understand? Like, can you guys, like, float here? Hmm. Hmm. Hi, Mildred. Okay. You ready? Alright. Yeah, I'm just gonna flash sweat myself. Well. Thank you, Jeremy. <laughs> So, do you think, is that what you were saying, that, I can see what you, I can see why you were saying that she kind of looks like Aldridge, because she's also what? like in, I can see why you were saying she looks like oh, Aldridge. Oh, yeah, yeah, because she's like a centaur. Yeah. She's like indented there. Oh my goodness. What the F? Did this just happen? Are you dead? No. Are you dead? It looks like you are. Yeah. Well... Why didn't you defend me, Richie? Thought you were good at this game. So, so <laughs> the um, the most damaging thing Quellag does, so we have to keep an eye out for it. Is if the human Moid, not human, part of her like slumps forward and the spider rears up, mm -hmm. it's about to do a really, really damaging AOE. Richie. Yep. 
I'm almost done with my Japanese slipper. Yeah. And as you know, these things are like strong. They should not be drank from like tall, deep glasses. They probably yeah. should be drank like shots or something, like one or two. And I right. had this, like a lot of shots. We can we can actually measure at one point how many shots fit in this glass. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to explain that again. The most damaging thing Quellag does that can easily is that she does a move where the the woman part slumps over forward, and the spider part starts rearing up, uh -huh. and it has a pretty long wind up. But uh -huh. if that if that animation finishes, it's a really, really damaging AoE that can one-shot you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that, like, if you see that happening, just back off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, alternatively, like, if you want to summon Mildred, mm -hmm. then, like, Mildred and I can probably just take her out if you, if you hide somewhere and just, mm -hmm. like, try not to die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. What's up, Arthur? So I, guess, like, I remember you. Yeah. Uh, we can talk about the, the vacation I took in between the last stream and this one. Tell us. I went to Ulusil. Woo! Yeah. That's Did you I'm visit Artorius? He makes the best jam. Well, I visited Artorius. Mm-hmm. How are the kids? How's uh, the did... wife? Well, um, I'm carrying her armor around right now. Oh. Shame. Didn't go so well. Didn't go so well. <laughs> no. So yeah, I did the DLC. Uh, Artorius, Sanctuary Guardian, and Manus are down. So I'm pretty... I found like a reasonably safe way to deal with Artorius. So if you absolutely want, we can attempt the DLC. We should. It's It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. These guys are just chilling. They're cool. Another question is... Greatest final-ish boss fight of the Soulsborne etc. games? And why it's Ishin the Sword Saint? Oh, and that's by Nielsen. Well, Ishin the Sword Saint. Are you going to grab the item I dropped you? You, I don't see. Where? It's down here. Oh. You need to warn me. <gasps> oh, it's a show you menu. Yeah. Oh. Little, little manus. Dennis the Manus? Yep. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so I gotta go on the okay. side. I think. I don't know. Might be safer if you just like <laughs> Sorry. keep your distance from her. But oh right oh I I thought I okay. Um Okay. Okay. I can hit her from the back. Hey. So Mildred basically is immune to fire down, so she's quite useful. Oh, that's really awesome how they thought about that. Yeah. Basically, all the Isolith bosses... Um, Are scared of Mildred? Some, there's some way around them. So she's doing it now. This is this is the really damaging event. That AoE. Okay. Did. okay. Oh my god, it didn't even scratch Mildred. Jesus, look at that. Yeah, Mildred has, like, really ludicrous... I think because they just couldn't program her AI to avoid the, the lava pools. So she she don't need to avoid them. She's like, I don't care. As a matter of fact, that's why they made the lava pools so harsh. Because Mildred was, like, walking over them. I feel like I should help, but I'm scared. That's alright. I'll just drink. I'll drink to y'all help. A okay. toast to Rich and Milfit. Does that way. So I think a really cool boss that stayed with me was Ludwig. But yeah. also because I didn't play the previous Souls games before Bloodborne. 
the significance of Ludwig, like when I, when I understood it, it became even yeah. more cool. Yeah. Like the Moonlight Sword and all that. Yeah. Right. And I keep saying how I kind of, I'm kind of regretting not playing the games before, so I could experience that one moment. Like, oh my God, it's the Moonlight Sword! It's really here. You know. Were you there for when, like, prior to Ludwig, people were desperate to find the Moonlight Sword? But I wasn't following it that much, you know? Yeah, like, I was following yeah. the lore of Bloodborne only, and it wasn't like, the, the Moonlight Sword didn't really, like, it didn't stand out as anything special, you know? Even if people were mentioning it, it just... Oh, Mildred is following me to make sure I'm okay! Oh my god, that's so sweet! Thank you, Mildred! Thank you, girl! Appreciate it! Okay. Wow, so, thank you. Yeah. You did good. Now we now okay, don't ring the bell. This is my suggestion. Okay. Cause if you ring the bell, that's the trigger for um Latrec to kill the firekeeper. Oh, uh -huh. okay. So if you want to do four kings now <gasps> okay. I would suggest doing that, like going back to Phylon. Oh no, do you have to walk back on. to Firelink? I'll never make it. You'll have, to, you'll have to walk back anyway. Jesus, not if I have the bell, like a door opens and then I take a it shortcut. Doesn't. Yeah, a door opens and I take a shortcut after I ring the bell. And in my mind, a door opens and I take a shortcut back. Yeah. So, <laughs> otherwise you'd have to like go to an Orlando, get her soul back, um, etc. And like, that would involve you killing Latrek and his buddies solo, because you can't summon him. Eh, okay. Okay. Hey, Arby. Remember where I go. Hello, Arby. Gotta ride the water wheel back up. Oh, no. For real? Yeah. Uh, why don't bonfires work in this game? They do when you get the Lord Vessel, but you don't have it. Ah! It's like, yeah, I Oh, I hate this area. Okay, is this a ladder? No, that's not a ladder. Is this a yeah. ladder? Okay, that's yeah. a ladder. Yeah. Okay, gotta get to the wheel. Is this a wheel? Yep, I'm going the right way. Okay. You know what else is a wheel? People are asking about patches on the menu. I'm gonna have to check that because I don't remember it, but also I, I haven't played three since like I did the Ring City. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. I have that song in my head for some reason. What the da 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 song? Yeah. Da 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 I don't know where it's from. It's popular though, you hear it often. Uh -huh. Um, another. Oh, that's it. These are all the patron questions we had. Oops. Oh, yeah. Well, David's asking, are there Homewood Bones and Dark Souls? There are. Yes. But there's there's no bonfire warping until you get the, the Lord Vessel, and even then, the bonfire warping is like only to certain bonfires. Oh, that's true. Richie? So like, oh, in, or okay, yeah, yeah, in order on, to get on. to Dark Room, in order to get to Dark Room with the Lord Vessel, I have to walk to where um, Andre is, and then just walk the rest of the way, because there's no way to walk directly to the Dark Room. Rich, is something just hit me? An idea, or something actually hit you? <laughs> Shut up. You know how? No, I don't know. You're playing Dark Souls. You may have been poisoned by something. Oh my God, bully! Listen to me. You know how? Okay. You can get stolen and taken to Yahargul? Yes. Do you know what that's like from Dark Souls 1? Being kidnapped by Mildred and put in a chest. What? In the hollow tree. What? Is that, I don't know. I don't know. Are you making that up like? or is that real? Wait. No, it's not real. Oh. Okay. What is it like, Sin? You know how when you confront Seath for the first time, you end up in jail? Yeah, yeah, it is like that, yeah. Yeah! Did I just make yeah. a discovery? Oh! Yeah. Yeah! Yeah, there you go. Awesome! Yeah. Thank you, Muse! 
And if people want to send me the patches stuff, just like send it to me on Discord. I'll check it later. Send it to Richie on Discord. He will check it later on. Do you appreciate my various singing voices? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, now I go this way. Oh my god, I made it! Yes. Five in times. Yeah, Elden Ring they started work on during the, um, the Dark Souls 3 DLC. We have... So I don't know if anything that's that's in that is going to show up in it. Well, Elden Ring looks a lot like Dark Souls 4. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it is the, it is the successor to Dark Souls. Hmm. In Miyazaki's own words, so. Hmm. Which we thought he was talking about Sekiro, but he was. And we have a really good trailer analysis that I'm sure everybody saw already. <sighs> Why are you saying what? What did I say? What did I say? What was our really good trailer analysis? Of Elden Ring, remember? Yeah. It was really good, it was mostly informative, and at the end the Bruce oh, okay. showed up and he like narrated the words. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 It was it was a special podcast. Okay, so now go up the lift and back to where Andre is. Okay. Uh, Harvey says it was excellent and wonderful. Okay, good. Does anybody have any any questions about anything? Because we're we're out of patron questions to discuss. <sighs> People wondering if Elden Ring is going to be PS Five or PS Four. PS Four. And PS5. Oh, um, uh, Bubble, she's already got Maximum. She what? Sorry, you cut out. Oh, um, uh, Bubble is asking, why don't you level up your Pyro Flame? And that's because you're at max already. Yay. Oh, actually, no, you could, no? you could go up, you could go upgrade it with Quilana, but we'll do that later. Because, mm -hmm. um, there's an NPC in Blight Town who will upgrade your Flame class plus 15. I know Quilana, she's the, uh, she's the sad spider. Right? No, that, that's another one. Oh. Oh, is she Kulana's the missing just a lady sister? In a, in a row. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, someone wants to know if, if we think there'll be Bloodborne 2. Yes. I think there will be a, a new IP that's released that seems remarkably similar to Bloodborne, and then five years after it's released... <laughs> Will data mine it in Discovery started development as Bloodborne 2 and now it's called something else. Or I know I honestly I think there's gonna be something called Bloodborne 2. Yeah. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. But but at some point people were calling PlayStation 4s the Bloodborne machines. So Yeah. Yeah. So now yeah. I go to Darkroot? Right. Oh, it's my friend, the demon. Hello. Oh no. Oof. No, demon, don't hit me. So it's interesting. The demon's horns mimic his staff. Yeah. Ha. Huh. Do you think he's using his staff is actually made up of a head of another demon? Yeah, well, you used to be able to get that stuff. What do you mean used to be? Because it's like, it's in the game data, but you just kind of, oh, it used to be like a darn. drop. Um, I'm just going through your question. Someone asking if it's possible for gods to go hollow. Okay, so this is confusing because they're talking about Nameless King. Right. Gwen went hollow. <laughs> Didn't he? No. This is the confusing part. Because the only humans can go hollow. Hollowing's not like a disease. The idea is that humans by normally they are hollow that's the normal form of humans and then you really? add humanity and, yeah then you add humanity and they look like a person hmm. so when you meet gwen and he's all fucked up that's because he burned himself up in the flame that's why he looks the way he does mm -hmm. he hasn't hollow mm -hmm. nameless king is is weird because like 
Nameless King also looks all messed up, but I think that's because he was designed to be like re he's been resurrected. He was meant to be like a corpse that's been brought back. <laughs> Richie, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Because the whole reason, like, Gwyn is worried is because, like, there's something unique about humans that makes them dangerous. So Gwyn... Gwyn is not hollow, he's just burned up because he threw himself in the flame. Nameless King is, like, it's confusing because when, when they designed Nameless King, like, mm -hmm. initially the idea is he was one of the Lords of Cinder, so he would come back from the dead. Mm -hmm. So that's why he's all burned up, because he's meant to be, like... He would have been in a tomb somewhere in Lothric, and then the bell rings and his corpse gets up, and that's why he looks the way he does. Uh, and then they changed it to he's just kind of there. Because, hmm. like, we, ha we have all this, like, old shit about how Nameless King used to Cinder, and he was called King of the Storm. They kept the design. Wait, he was, but... he was Yorm? No, he was one of the Lords of Cinder, and he's but called King of the Storm. But isn't Yorm King of the Storm? No, he no, has the Storm was... ruler. Okay, never mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait a minute. If you have the storm ruler, why would you not be king of the storm? It's a very good question. That's because they added the storm ruler after they changed him from king of the storm to something else. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Where is your summon sign, by the way? Near the... It's past the Artorius gate okay. at the bottom of the stairs. Okay. So I can open the gate? If you, yeah, you bought the crest from Andre. Oh. Um... His name was an easy boss. Yeah, I, I liked fighting Nameless because once I got his pattern down, he was extremely simple. He was extremely simple. Well, okay, people bring up Yorm. Like, the confusing thing about Yorm is that, um, rest by the bonfire. Don't don't go in here yet. Okay. You ah! want to tag the bonfire. Okay, right. No, I can't. Okay. But the bonfire is by the... I know, it's just yeah. there's a... Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I go this way? Okay, I go this way. The bonfire is by the Artorius gate. I know, but it's just it won't let me because there are bad guys here, so I have to kill them. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Sketchy walking trees of Dark Souls. <laughs> so yeah, um, people may have noticed this, but like in the intro to 3 when you see Yorm get up, mm -hmm. he's getting up at Archdragon Peak. What? And that's because like way, 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 way early on Yorm to be a... Like, he was, like, something to do with Lothric, and he was just called Lord of Cinder. He didn't have, like, a name. Yeah. And he was pretty important, because there's actually a Yorm statue. That yeah, the reason, Yorm, the reason Yorm gets a statue and the others don't is that, like, that statue dates from when Yorm was, like, a different thing. He was meant to be, like, more significant. Mm hmm See, if you go through the cover, the the um, seal of Artorias door and go down the stairs, my sign should be there. Okay. But it probably won't appear until you're at the bottom of the stairs because of the way the loading zones work. Oh, there it is. Hello. Welcome. Do I think Chester was snatched from Bloodborne? Chester's set looks exactly like a hunter set if you wear it. And like, um, I'm pretty, like, people say like, oh, From, From deliberately put that there as a Bloodborne reference. And I think it's more like they were working on Bloodborne at the same time, so they wanted to test out, like, ideas and stuff. Yeah, it's like a test of like, how, how will we do Bloodborne armor sets and cloth physics and things like that. I don't think it's meant to be like an Easter egg. Why not? I think because we like there's there's Bloodborne files in the game we're playing now. Like they were designing them at the same time, so they were like, "Oh, here's like some test Bloodborne assets. Just shove them in Dark Souls, see how they work." It's the same engine. There are a lot of bad guys in this forest. Yes. 
I'm fighting one of them now. So there's like a, um, if we can't beat Sith, there is a slow and tedious safe way to do it. Why wouldn't we beat Sith? Well, who knows what will happen. I know what will happen. We'll beat Sith. Christ, you're almost dead! I just saw your health bar. What? I just saw your health bar, you're almost dead. What? I'm fine, don't worry about me. Now I'm almost dead. Oh, this guy heals. What a sketchy guy. Ah! Damn it. I'm here, sketchy guy. Thought I could pay uh, him. Lawrence, I'm wondering why the gods are dead. The gods are dead because we killed them in Dark Souls 1. Did we? That's what the last part of the game well, is. It's you you don't dis you can you can you can you, you and... don't know how to kill Gwendolyn, maybe you didn't kill Gwendolyn. Yeah, yeah, okay, Gwendolyn's Gwendolyn's You didn't kind kill Gwendolyn. Of... still around him. You can keep well... Priscilla alive. Yeah. Um who else? What other gods do we meet? Um um, um, if you never finished the game, you never killed Gwyn either. Yeah, so I've killed Gwyn. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's shade at me, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad people are here. I'm glad, like, 40 people are here to witness the stream. To know what I go through daily. How do we kill Nito if he's already dead? That's a very good question. I feel like somebody at some point explained Nero on our podcast, but I can't remember. Loki's done a fair amount of work on this. Okay. Like, the best way to understand, like, the gods in Dark Souls is that they're not, like, deities, they're just- it's like a- like a- a celestial bloodline. So, like, it's just, like, the- the people who found the souls and their- their, like, followers and their children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh man, we ready okay. for this? Are you ready for this? Do 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 you know what movie that song reminds me of? Reminds me of? There's a Russian question in chat that's actually in like Cyrillic. Oh, uh, okay, Richie, you keep you keep Sif, um, um, occupied while I look at Russian question. А что well, случилось think... с Ллойдом? Мы его не убивали. What happened to Lloyd? We did not kill him. Um, but like by the time of three, they're like Lloyd was a fraud. Oh yeah. That's yeah. True. Oh hey, Mark's here. Hey. Hey, Mark. Where's Steve? Go up to the sword. Oh yeah, it's that heart wrenching cutscene. This is a beautiful. This is beautiful, like the moon and stuff. Wow. What is this? A hornet ring. Oh. What does the note say? Imminent tears. Oh. <laughs> what does this note say? Weakness tears. Oh. And this note. Hope ahead. Uh. There we go. There we go. Okay. Was Artorius also a giant? Because that is his sword? Well, that's the weird thing, because you fight out sword. Like, he's like a head. He's like Gascoigne sized. What if he, like, shrunk? Yeah. You know how there are those, like, dinosaur capsules you put in water and they get bigger? Maybe he's just a little dehydrated. Mm -hmm. I felt a little bit of contempt in your mm-hmm. Well, what I was contemptuous of is that I had just done, like, an emote um, prior to sitting here. <laughs> and I was still doing it. <laughs> so I got hit, but thankfully I am kitted out to be uh, pretty high def for someone who's level 1, so... 
<laughs> oh shit. Okay, if Sif gets me in like the two hit con I can survive one hit from Sif, but if I get hit in the the two hit thing gets me out. So. Uh, I wish there was a way to not fight Sif. Oof. Cause she's a good boy. Is Sif a boy or a girl? The eternal oh. question. Could be either, because Sif is also a name of the girl. Well, Sif, yes, Sif is a female, like it's like one of the Norse goddesses. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. What if it turns out there's a secret and if you just boop Sif's, Sif's nose enough times? Aww. She's your friend. Aww. Boop! 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 Okay. Did it work? Almost. She's stuck on a wall. Damn it! Oh no, I'm out of oh fireballs. No, don't dare, Richie! There's one hit to go, but she's stuck on a wall, so when I try to hit her, it like goes over her. Ah, good. Okay. Press F to pay respects. Aww. That's a really pretty arena. I would build a house here. Emlyn's suggesting we throw Sif at home with bone. Okay, good. We got the Covenant. That was, um... That was, like, reasonably painless. Chris, it is. I'm a pro. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought we were going to be stuck here for ages. I even bought 999 Poison Arrow. <laughs> so I thought we'd have to poison Sif over the wall. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so... Now we can, you're going to have to go to New Londo and kill uh, Ingvard. Ingvard? But, but you're going to have to do it by yourself because you can't summon a new one until Aww. you drain the water. So. But I'm also wearing his set, so it's going to be dramatic. I'll show up. He's like, who are you? Why are you wearing my clothes? And I'll be like, I That's am very you. Very nice MD guy's desk acting. <laughs> yes, yes. Who are you? Why are you wearing my clothes? <laughs> Exactly. Mm. Um, so I'm asking if Lloyd is a fraud. Like, I... I think the <gasps> gods are just oh like... What? Oh what? Oh my god, look at the little mushroom! Oh my god, look at the little mushroom! Oh my god! Don't, don't get too close. Oh my god, why? Oh my god. Listen, no! They no. pack a wallet. What? No, look, they, love they me! They punch you really, really they, hard. This one doesn't! This one's my friend! Hi, friend! Hello, friend! I'm gonna die. They are so cute. Oh my god. Hi, friend. Oh my god. This is like something out of Reborn. I was about to say you're making the Reborn noise. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Are we going so shopping like, together? Okay, let's go somewhere. So, like, um, the whole, like, Lloyd thing is that you can just kind of declare yourself a god if you're, like, significantly, like, influential. So, what happened was Lloyd was presumably the god in where the Way of White were based. And then when Lloyd, like, when Way of White moved to Kareem. <gasps> oh my god, Richie, they have a big one! Oh my god, hello! Hello, friend! Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, well. sorry! Okay, I'm sorry, it's just so cute, I can't, I can't, how cute! Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh yeah. my god, he gave me a concussion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sorry, please, sorry. I apologize for I was gonna say that, like, Go on. what happens is Lloyd is presumably one of the gods in Thoral. He's like the local god of Thoral. And then when the Way of White moved from Thoral into Kareem, where the local god is Kaitha, they just decide, okay, well, we worship Kaitha now, Lloyd is fraud. We don't need Lloyd. That's basically all it is. Someone asking if you've played Dark Souls before. She has, but she hasn't finished. And it's so, been a while. Like, it's been a while. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're trying to finish it, at least beat the Four Kings Soul Level 1. So then you can say that, like, hey, <laughs> have you finished Dark Souls? Like, yeah, uh, I finished it, and the first time I finished it, I was level 1. <laughs> Actually, that would not be a lie. Yeah.
Sorry. What? I slipped and it was scary. Well, I'm okay now. Yeah, it's fine. Oh my god, Marlon says, I absolutely freaking love your Richie. Oh, Ooh, so it's the Richie you. show. I see, I see. See how well, it's I. called Sinclair Law. So I see how it is, Marlon. Your name is there. <laughs> okay. So everybody loves me by default? Yes. Yes! Okay. Okay, so I, I guess I'll just chill in New Londo until. You Chill in Yolanda. Sketchiest area of all. Yolanda, yeah. It's okay. It's very pretty. Uh, RLS88 asking if they're banned. No? I don't know. Did something happen? I, I, I have like, no idea. I don't know. I'm running Yolanda right now. <laughs> I, I, I don't know who you are, RLS, but I don't think you're banned. If we can see you, you're not banned. <laughs> No, no, let's mess with our LS. <laughs> Who said that? I didn't hear uh, Dave anything. Dave asking if the, the Iron Dragon Slayer and Dark Souls rotation Steam. I think it's meant to be like they made it on Steam Golem. So it's something like that. Like, Lo Loki probably has something more to say about it. Loki has more to say about everything. He needs to, like, finish his project. I can't yeah, well, wait. The, Lo Loki has everything to say about everything. Oh my god, it's he's... like... He's yeah. still working on but, it. But, but he wants to get everything finalized yeah, before he yeah. says anything, like, officially. Yeah. But So well, he has this, like, yeah. just, like, the most detailed notes on anything that anyone has ever yeah. taken. Yeah. But... <laughs> and, but he posts some parts sometimes on, like, Twitter and Reddit and, like... I, no, I think I think that's are it. Looks like Twitter. Saying, uh, are they invisible? Like, we can see you. Are I'm they not showing questions. up on? Must just be invisible. What? I I. Are they not showing up on the like chat on the screen? Because I can see. I them. can see them too. <laughs> All right. I does, don't know. Does, does everyone else see RLS or? <laughs> oh my God! What if RLS is like a hallucination that you only you and I have? If you're invisible, it's not us. It's like maybe a problem with like the client or something. But I can see you fine. Yeah. Okay, last and first man can see RLS, so okay. I don't know. Um, this question about the Age of Fire without dots. Like, the idea behind the Age of Fire, it's not, it's like, it, it's a, it happened. And then, like, it, it, like, wrought certain changes on the world. So it's like, the idea is that, that when the Age of Fire happens, that's Gwyn's ascendancy. And then the world starts to he starts to lose control. So the the per, what Gwyn basically I'm, I'm like uh, frazzled because I'm trying to like do new Londo. Um, what happens is Gwyn realizes that after the Age of Fire comes presumably the Age of Dark. He doesn't want that because he wants to hang on to control. So he is the one who basically creates the. The conditions for Dark Souls One. He's the reason the Dark Sign exists because he puts. He realizes that like his fire and his light burns up the dark that's in humans. So he puts that like Dark Sign brand on you. So when you die, instead of the Dark Soul squirming out in the way it does by three, and humans begin transforming into like worms and butterflies and things. He prevents that by basically branding. And if you, the idea behind the dark sign is that there's a little hole that all the dark soul is coming out of, and he puts this ring of fire around. So when it tries to come out, it burns up. It's like it's like it's like cauterizing the wound. And then by the time you get to three, he's been dead so long that the fire is so weak that it can't keep going. And that's why you get like the pus of man and the pilgrims and all the other weird shit that's going. So now you got to do Nulondo. Mm -hmm. So like I said, you can't summon in Nulondo until you've... So... I got this. I've done this before. I've reached the mm -hmm. four kings before. Okay. So you just got to make it to the top and killing them. Aww. 
I like Ingvard, though. I like his outfit. He has a People bring up that um, Cathedral Night Shield has the Storm Drake on it and says it depicts the old King of Loth. Yeah, that's true. Um, the, the Nameless King is the old King of Loth. It's one of those things that's like... Yeah! yeah. Because Lothric's like, it, they're all they're all warriors of sunlight, there's statues of the guy everywhere. <laughs> so the idea is that when the Nameless King was exiled from Anor Londo, mm -hmm. he founded Lothric as his kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's why everyone there is a warrior of sunlight, that's why there's the statues of him, all this other stuff. And that's something... So like that's meant, yeah. It's meant to be the reveal. Like, this would have made more sense back when... You could walk from Lothric to Archdragon Peak before the weird teleportation thing. But what happened was, like, the reveal is that the founder of Lothric is Gwyn's son. So Lothric is kind of like Anna Londo 1.5. Yeah, and that's something we talked about way back in the day uh, when I first had you on. I think it was, it may have been like the first podcast we did about the Queen of Lothic. The Queen of Lothic. Queen of Lothic! <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, does Sin actually listen to what Richard is saying? Oh my god, <laughs> um, Jesus! She normally does. She, she's, she's been drinking. <laughs> Who asked that? Oh, you're gonna get banned today. Today's not the day to mess with Sin. Confess, raise your hand. Sin has, had, Sin has had a very long week. Oh, God. And she's winding down with a, a nice game of Dark Souls and <laughs> some uh, some liquid. <laughs> some liquid, yeah. It's a good way of putting it. Okay, you're doing, you're doing pretty well. Ah, uh, you jinx me. I find that the room full of ghosts, this is like the hardest part because there's the one that blocks you. Yeah, I, d I remember this, because I, okay, back before I gave up on Dark Souls, because the Four Kings are bullies, I actually, like, did a lot of the game, you know? Yeah. Do you want to use a transient curse, because the ghosts don't really have ways. So if you just hit them once, they'll, like, back off. What? Use a transient curse. I gave you a bunch. That lets you hit the ghosts. What is it? You didn't have to file link. What? You didn't have to go back to file link. It's like two minutes away. Calm down, sir. Okay. Okay. But don't use the transient curse now. Use it later on when you right. actually get to new. Right, right, right. That gives you a temporary buff that lets you. Yeah, I can see you've got six. That gives you a temporary buff that lets you hit the ghosts. Oh, look at Marlon. Sin is the peak lower god. Y'all are just bullies, and then like sweat it's drop. <laughs> I it's remember true. you said you love GSF, but I forgive you, because I see you love me more. Thank you, Marlon. People asking, like, why are there ghosts in New Londo and zombies everywhere? Sorry, <laughs> seems they keep missing you. What did we miss? Oh no, let's scroll up. Uh, what? Real question. Oh, what's your okay. hardest both boss? Okay. Uh, in, what's in the hardest boss? In all the games, boss? or just this yeah. one? Um, in Dark Souls, the hardest boss, other than Bed of Chaos, because that's just like bullshit to count, would probably be, um, god, uh, maybe Calamite? Hmm. I haven't killed Calamite on this character, because I don't even hmm. want to fight in Soul level anymore. I feel like for me, a boss that I'll never beat will be Medea. Oh, yeah, Medea, yeah. Well, Medea is like, if you have, if you know the exploit, easy. But if you don't do the exploit, it's like, it's such an endurance test. Uh -huh. Oh my god, Marshall said, I've said it before, I came for GSF, but stayed for Sin. Oh. So sweet. Did you see that, Richie? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at Merlin. Oh my god, Merlin. That's like, I'm giving you a million internet points today. You came for JSF? Oof. <laughs> <sighs> Excellent. 
feeling better already. <laughs> Nadir is like not super hard specifically. It just has so much HP that you just like. It just becomes extremely like wearying. Oh, oh, okay. J um, Dark Sword cast is already in an Age of Dark before the events of the game. I think that's a mistranslation. I think he's just meant to be saying, like, and then we'll begin the Age of Men or something. There hasn't been an Age of Dark already. Because the idea is that once, like, the fire happened, the next thing, like, it's transitioning into the Age of Dark, and Gwyn is trying to stop it. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah Bubbles saying she loves Manus. Manus is bay. Well, people don't have to pick a favorite because we're like a two-headed monster at this point. <laughs> That's funny. We're like we're like the Ludwig fight. There's just like two heads. No, we're Lauren and Lor 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 Lor. Oh Jesus, I'm Lauren having a yeah, I'm having a yeah. Oh my God. I'm carrying you around. Yeah, you let me. yeah. And then I give up, and you're like, "No, you get the fuck up! <laughs> Shut up, you get up, bitch!" <laughs> Hi, I'm Avaro. Welcome. Thanks. RB. Oh yeah, RB. Um, oh. RB has um art. RB. Yeah, RB is an artist. RB, post your link. It's so good. Yeah, RB has a Twitter and like a store. I think it's a it's a red bubble, maybe an Etsy. But for sure, red bubble. Feel free to post it. RB has like really cool stuff, y'all. Yeah. So if you just like um, use a transient curse, that'll let you hit the ghosts. The ghosts don't really have much resilience, and they they have. Can no I force. hit them with fire? So you'll be able. To hit them with anything. You'll be able to knock them out of the way. Okay. Okay. I have an idea. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. I'll once I hit them with fire, I will sing something. Okay. 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 And you maybe want to have your rest or something. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. We gotta find one. It's gonna be really good. I need. Fireball, I think. Okay. You hyped? Yeah. Okay. But I gotta hit a ghost first. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I have in my head what I think the song is gonna this be. This but... ghost is on fire! <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna sing the thing from Ghostbusters. What? Why? Oh my god. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, but nice, you got the Jagged Ghost Blade. It's like a really rare drop. Do you know that I'm a professional of getting rare drops? Everyone hated me for that. Still yeah, do. The transient curse. The transient curse is timed, by the way, so you want to like get it and fun. Don't tell me how to live my life. Okay, so there will be ghost here. Ah! Ooh, girl. I need combustion. Ah! Sorry. Oh. Yeah, you can use combustion. The the soul went toward me and it scared me. Okay. Ah! Ah! Jesus. Oh, here we go. I die in the same spot because I'm a genius. Look at me. 
do this to myself. I knew this was gonna happen. I told myself in my head, don't do this, don't go there, they will gank you, and then I did it. If you use, like, switch to Fire Orb when you get the range. Fire Orb? Okay. The one you have to worry about is just the one in, that's blocking the stairs. If you can get past that, then it's fine. What's up, humble? Welcome. You don't have to be human for this. But how am I going to summon you? You can summon. You can drain the water, then go back, and then human, humanify. And don't I have more health as a human? No. No? Oh, I thought I no. did. Oh, darn. Okay. Oh, Richie. Yes. You're editing a very interesting podcast these days. These days. <laughs> it's an anime podcast that we did. Yes. And for once, it's not reborn. Re. You have no idea how relieved I was to talk about something. <laughs> so actually, this podcast, it actually fueled you for something else, so. So, it's a good it thing. Is? Yeah, good thing we talked about Oh, your about reborn it. made me, fueled me for things that. <laughs> Mike is like, I'm degeist? It is indeed, I'm degeist. Colonel, you have to get to the. So we control room. We watch MD Geist and Sin, um, unaware of the context in which most people encountered MD Geist. <laughs> Absolutely loved it and is now this completely unironic uh, Koichi Ohada stand. <laughs> so we now we now have to watch other Koichi Ohada yes! anime. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Richie Richie like a casual, he had like a notepad where he was like trying to remember quotes and I had them all by heart. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> okay, gotta focus. We are going to Brain Palace, yes. <laughs> if we could if we could start again, I would call the podcast five minutes to Brain Palace. <laughs> Instead of it can't be helped. I just feel like five minutes to Brain Palace needs to be the name of something. Do, do you understand how I feel now whenever we come up with characters or names for anything? Yeah, but you do that on a <laughs> hourly basis at this point. <laughs> you can bring up Nostradamus the Vampire. Oh my god! That's true, it is Friday the 13th, so we pretty much have to. Um... <laughs> I predicted the date of my own death in the Rose of Men. <laughs> you have to use a transient curse before you get the ghost. Oh, right, thank you. Oh, shoot. I forgot. And here I am. Richie, can you tell us a little background on Nostradamus the Vampire? Well, you were asking me what horror movies are out of copyright except Nostradamus the Vampire. <laughs> you said, said Nostradamus, and I said, what? And then you said, you know, Nostradamus the Vampire. And then I realized you meant Nosferatu. <laughs> and this, mm -hmm. this led to the horror that is Nostradamus the Vampire. <laughs> Which, like many many of your characters, <laughs> is just a weird voice I did once. Now, now expanded out to a recurring character. Well, in my crypt, I predicted the Kennedy assassination. <laughs> oh my god. Um, so now we're going to have to commission someone to draw him. No, we, no, no, we don't have to. What do you mean we don't have to? How else are we gonna you know what he just, looks you like? Just leave it. I imagine he looks like Max Shrek, but <laughs> predicting things is a psychic. <laughs> oh no! Ah! I'm being sabotaged! It froze! Hello? What the game for? Well, for no? me, I don't know if the game froze, oh, the, the computer froze, well, something uh, froze. Oh, uh, no, you, you're moving again for me now. Okay. Huh. Did the ghost fall down, um, or...? 
People asking about like the vile bloods and the Imotaru from Dark Souls 2. Okay. And it's like they're different things because the idea behind the vile that they literally have like vile blood. Like it's the blood in them has done something to them. Um, mm -hmm. same as like like that's the plot of Bloodborne. But the idea behind the Immortaru which is like a removed thing from Dark Souls 2, and it's like from a, like it's not there anymore. It's like a really early version of the story. Mm -hmm. Is that um, they were hollow? They were undead who didn't hollow. Mm -hmm. There was like something unique about them, and that was like the MacGuffin that was driving the plot. Uh huh. Instead of it being like Vendrick wants to solve hollowing, we don't know how you get a crown. It was Vendrick is trying to get. <laughs> Vendrick is trying to um to figure out how to avoid hollowing. And he finds that there's, like, a group of people who managed to do it. So he's, like, seeking these people called the Imotaru, which is just immortal written in, like, uh, Japanese characters. Mm -hmm. So, like, that would... And, like, that, um... I guess we can talk about it a little more, because, like, mm -hmm. you're going to have to get through these ghosts. So, like, in Dark Souls 2, you go under Drang Lake and in this Shrine of Amana and Undead Crypt. Mm -hmm. And the... That was there from, like, an early version of the story, but in there, like, Shrine of Amana was designed... It was a place called, um... It was called, like, the Dreg Heap of Souls. Like, it's got the same name as the Dreg Heap in, in 3, but it's called the Dreg Heap of Souls. And the idea is, like, Vendrick learned about these immortal people, and they lived, um, they lived in, like, the center of the Earth. They had an underground castle. So the Shrine of Amana and, like, the tunnel and everything, that was Vendrick digging. And he was digging to, like, the center of Drang Lake to find the Immortaru. They would have just been called the Immortals, I guess. And, um, so the, the, um, Shrine of Amana was a place called Drake Heap of Souls, which was, like, when they dug down, they hit this, like, it's called, it was called, like, the place where stagnant souls went. And, like, all the the workers had all died. They found these old... It was kind of like Bloodborne with the Chalice Dungeons, where they'd found these, like, ruins, and then they'd all, like, gone mad and had to run away. And it was all, like, sealed up. And, um... Oh, hey, you made it past the ghosts, almost. Okay. Um, so, like, that was Shrine of Amana. That's why it's all flooded. It was, like, flooded... Kind of like New Londo. It was flooded to contain these, like, immortal things. And Undead Crypt like wasn't a crypt it was the castle of the immortals like they were like vampire people in this like castle and that's like instead of vendrick at the end it would have been like the the immortal like king and queen or whoever and i brought that up to santa and he said like oh yeah actually there is a deleted throne room for that area where you would have met them. so like that's the original like that's what was going on in um, Dark Souls 2 before the great director switcheroo. Switcheroo? Dave asking, does anyone enjoy doing the Chalice Dungeons? Yeah, there's a whole uh, community of uh, the Tomb Prospectors who do nothing but Chalice Dungeons. <laughs> True. And uh, I don't know if Trin's going to show up, but... Oh, Trin oh, is God, the best. I almost fell off the edge. Trin knows more about Chalice Dungeons than anyone alive. Did you die? Oh no. You I'm tell sorry. me, Nostradamus, <laughs> did I die? <laughs> I predicted this <laughs> run would be a failure. Oh, damn. Um, okay, so let me go get a Dr. Pepper and some more Japanese okay. slippers. And meanwhile, um, you can enter people quick and. Yeah. Okay. So, like, um, Elder Gusto is saying the dudes who don't like Light and Undead Crypt were the immortal. I'm pretty sure they were because the people in the Undead Crypt who don't like light, they have blue skin. They're called the Finito. And it's never really explained why they have blue skin. But in in Japanese media, it's really like you'll notice this in like Castlevania and stuff. It's really common to depict vampires as having blue skin. I don't exactly know where it comes from. I think it's meant so they look like a corpse, but the um the idea, I think, is that, like, the blue-skinned people would have been the Immortals. They would have lived in that castle. They were, like, they figured out how to be undead but not hollow when Vendrick was going there. So, like, and the, it was flooded to contain the Immortals. They lived underground because they didn't stand the light because they were, like, vampires. 
that's like, as far as I can tell, that was the original plot of two with Vendrick. And like the dwarf guys, the Gurm, um, the reason they look like these Tolkien, Tolkien dwarf types is that they were going to be like miners. They Vendrick had used them to dig out like that tunnel that takes you to Shrine of Amana. Um, they were like workers, and Vendrick had employed these like kind of like Lord of the Rings dwarf people who like like in Lord of the Rings they had like dug too deep, and they dug and dug and dug to the center of the earth. And that's where the Shrine of Amana slash Jamal Castle was. But yeah, the problem is that the version of the story we have, this table of dialogue that was included in a network test, but it only is like the first third. Uh, Robert, you are at the point we've beaten Sif, she's just going to go to New Londo and um, do the Four Kings. So yeah, the the dialogue we have, it's like some in it's some. Um, if anyone's seen Santa's video on two, he there's like an NPC in Majula called Beldrick. It's either Beldrick, Vendrick, or Baldrick, um, Baldrick, Valdrick. Like he can't because it's written in in phonetics. You can make it whatever name you want. Um, he's like a scholar, and presume he is kind of like he's like a nice quote-unquote nice version of Aldia. And he presumably, I think he would have lived in that house with a giant book. Because it does kind of nothing in-game, but anyway, this this guy is like a, he's a scholar and he talks about how like he used to live in Drang Lake. He had to leave Drang Lake after it fell to the giants. And he's now trying to figure out how to get back into Drang Lake to like fix everything. And he's the one who, like, basically we have a whole lot of, of text dumps from him that kind of, like, explain the plot. And I think it's him that says, like, although it's weak, because some of it is Malenshin, some of it's Shalqua. I forget who tells you about Vendrick's castle, but, like, yeah, there's a whole lot of shit about Vendrick's castle. And, yeah, the Pendulum of Time. Um, that, like, Bel Beldrick, Vendrick, whatever's plan was... He would get you to go on a series, instead of beating the four old ones to get their souls, they would each be guarding a specific item. And then the items, when you combine them, would have let you, they would have been the equivalent of the Ashen, and they would have let you go back to the past version of Drang Lake. And, like, Beldrick would have been trying to make this pendant to try changing the past so um, Drang Lake didn't fall. Um... Why was an Adi in New Londo after it's flooded? What? Um, let's see, like, isn't New Londo... F oh, no, yeah, New yeah, Londo's flooded, um, before Ulysseal, isn't it? After. Ulysseal happens first, right? I can't remember, because I haven't played this for so long. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lissel happens first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at Sin. She doesn't contribute anything to the conversation. She knows nothing of Dark Souls. Someone just type bring back Red Braid. Unfortunately, Redgrave moved on with life, and we'll never have him back on again. Um, bring up, like, if Ventric beat the four old ones and built the kingdom with their souls, why are they back again? I think the idea is, like, he beat the four old ones in a previous cycle, and the souls just came back again. So when he beat the four great ones, he didn't beat, like, the Rotten, the Lost Sinner, Old Iron King, and Freya. He beat four other old ones and their souls have, like, reincarnated. Do I like cricket? No. <laughs> um, my dad loves cricket. Whenever I go, like, see him around this time of year, he's always watching cricket. cricket. And, um, I don't understand. It goes for, like, five days. What? Or something. One match? Yeah. Or... I don't understand it. It just goes on forever. 
Huh. And he explains it he, the way he explains it is it's it's like a meditative experience. Hmm. That you just sit there and you zone out and watch cricket and very occasionally. <laughs> uh, so Bubbles continuing talking about how like Arturis play Dark Rakes and Ghosts. Yeah, that makes sense. If he'd been in New Londo. I guess like maybe he was in New Londo before they flooded it. Who? Cool. Artorius. Maybe, yeah. Loki will know. <laughs> Loki. <laughs> Loki knows everything. It's incredible. It's incredible and fascinating and beautiful. It's it's like huge. Yeah. You'll send these like four thousand page documents. Yeah. And then I'll be like, oh no, that's that's just all the seal. No, he's amazing. Sneaky ghosts! Okay. You can do this. Oh no, I'm out of fireballs? What? Oh, but I have fire orbs. Yes! Ah, let me waste them all. I'm not used to this range thing. I don't know how life works. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out the timeline of it. Like, what's up? I think N Sif doesn't want you to go to Ooh. New Londo. To Ulysses? So, no? New Londo? No, because Sif is guarding the Covenant of Artorius Ring. Right, he doesn't want you to go to the Four Kings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So presumably New Londo is after all the seal. Um, does Redgrave still think our character and Braidor are from the same place? I don't think I you'd have to ask him. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Um Bubble bring up that like there's like references to Artorius fighting Darkra. So maybe this was before? No, it's just, uh, it's just the ring, it helps you go above the abyss or whatever, and Sif knows that, and kings live in the abyss, so it's just like, you know, and you need that ring. So maybe it's not directly Sif preventing you from going here, it's just Sif preventing you from taking the ring to go anywhere in any abyss, you know? Yeah, maybe. Okay, where I, I just passed through a fog. Go game. through the fog. Yeah, go through the fog. There's a ladder you can yeah. kick down. Once you kick that ladder down, you're gonna have to go full of ghosts. Go here, not down the ladder, right? It, it, that ladder is a shortcut from the start. Okay. Okay. Ah! Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Jesus Christ. Ah, stabby ghost. Is there a point at which you're just like used to there being ghosts? No, what? Why? Ah! So, I mean, after a while in New no, Londo, it's like... No, but these are like, new ghosts! They, like, stab you out of nowhere! It's just like ghosts are just a baseline part of the experience, and they're no longer frightening. <laughs> that's not how life works, Richie. I don't know what life you live, but that's not how real life works. Oh, I can go down the stairs. So, you're gonna have to absolutely book it, and just run really fast through Ingvard's house and climb the ladder. This? Otherwise the ghost I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand what you just said. I'm just gonna go fast somewhere. There's a ladder. If you see the ladder, just run. You go just up, told up, up, me up, to up, run, really so fast. I don't know when I'm running, but okay. Run until you find a ladder and then go up really, really high. And I can tell from the stream you've gone through the wrong place, but there's a play, so whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> Richard the bully. You told me to run, so I'm running. Are there ghosts behind me? This may actually have the effect of confusing the ghosts in here so they don't know where you are. Or not. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> There's like dozens of them! Jesus, do you see? Holy moly. Okay, so... 
next time you start, when you go up, um, before you know how there's that like little bridge that leads to the house with all the ghosts. You like go up the stairs, and then there's like a plateau in the bridge. Uh, yeah. If you go to the right, there's like a platform you can drop onto, and that's where the um, the the ladder that you. Can but Richie. Yes. I only go to the left, to the left. I'm guessing that's the song. I don't know. What? You don't know? To the left, to the left. Everything you own in the box, to the left. Probably not. I'm sure I'm just singing it badly. It's Beyonce. I haven't listened to the radio for like 20 years. Oh. Richie. My entire knowledge of what's on the radio is just like what plays in the supermarket. Oh my god, Richie. Why'd you do that? That's Highland Professional. Gildium. Remember when this started out and you used to complain that I would burp during recordings? Oh my god, I did. You weren't allowed to say um. You weren't allowed to do like the. Like, or any mouth noises. Because I was like, I have to cut them out, Richard. And it's very difficult because you make a lot of them. <laughs> Then you used to burp, and that would make me a little more agitated because I'm like, okay, you can really, like, and then you would wor you would burp in between a word, in the middle of a word, and that would really frustrate me. <laughs> I remember that, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah remember yeah. those times? Yeah. yeah. Someone said your burping is like a lion roar. Okay, we're getting there. You've knocked down one cut. <laughs> there we go. My favorite great one is, uh, I think, Erden. Because of the way Erden is very slowly introduced and then you finally realize. Ritchie? Yes. What would you say my favorite great one is? Just, just fight the ghost. No, it's a, it's not a Brutus. I mean, in 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 oh, yeah. Good. No, it is a, a Brutus. Good, an, an but actual I was, one. <laughs> I was thinking in Bloodborne. Is it? Um. I don't know your favorite great. Is it what? the Mansus Brain? Yeah. Yeah, brain. Yeah. How did you forget? We have a whole podcast on that being my favorite. Okay, but saying how did you forget we have a whole podcast on it is like... <laughs> what don't we have a whole podcast on at this point? Um, um... Like, we have a, we have a podcast on the note <laughs> that says, like, Hunter's not wanted here. <laughs> we established that it may be about employment. This establishes that my character cannot swim. That's true. Not till Saker River they learn to swim. Do you think they'll be swimming in Elden Ring? I hope so. <gasps> swimming with the fishes. <coughs> Jesus, I apologize. Is this supposed to be a mafia thing? <laughs> yeah, swimming with the fishes. That's, that's, sleep, that's sleep with the fishes. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> well. But obviously that's that's the bad mafia, not the <laughs> wacky the wacky mafia that teaches you life. Oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. By the way, Richie, for those who haven't seen our reborn podcast, could you like promote it to the people? <laughs> for the thousands and thousands of subscribers that don't watch the reborn podcast. Uh-huh. Um, if you've ever you might be familiar with like a lot of show like um, channels we're doing like Game of Thrones recap, mm -hmm. uh, like Lost recaps, mm -hmm. Watchmen. Um, yeah, well, yeah, like recaps of things people have seen, uh, like care about things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. We went in the opposite direction, <laughs> where Sin decided to recap every episode of an anime from like over a decade ago that mm -hmm. no one really people sort of 
saw if you were the right age, but also don't really care about. Mm-hmm. And um, you you get to I've never seen it before, and you get to hear me um, gradually go insane <laughs> as sin subjects me to mm-hmm. Hitman Reborn, a series about a baby who is a hitman. And is mystifyingly over 200 episodes long. Yeah. And did you see... Um, and... Sorry, I'm going to interrupt you before I forget because this is important. Yeah. Harvey says, you're insane if you don't listen. Meridak says, the Reborn podcasts are great. Really love the background song um, Sin chose. Yeah. yeah. I'm expecting more yeah. positive comments or incoming. People are just typing them, and they're so long they didn't press entry yet. Yeah, why don't you you go through New Londo and I'll read them. Okay. Maybe I should pretend like at the end of New Londo there's Lambo, and I have to get to him. But he's so cute. Oh my god, he's so cute. I might cry. He's just so adorable, and I love him so much. One of the things about Reborn is that you don't really remember any of the plot. You just remember the character of Lambo, <laughs> who is a baby who's dressed as a cow. Oh my god, he has little more. And I feel like they could have just made, like, one thing about a baby dressed as a cow and not, not 200. <laughs> it wouldn't have the same effect. Rolls of Reborn is pretty cute, like not as cute as Lambo, but Reborn is really adorable. And then, and then more babies are coming. We're gonna have too many babies. Yeah, like, I like, I like how this assumes we're watching season two. <gasps> what? what uh... Hmm. I like how you assume we're not watching season two. I like how you assume I didn't already sign you up for Crunchyroll and we're gonna watch it after this podcast is done. Okay, if I were a Lambo, where would I hide? Guess I'd hide here. Oh no, that's the path back. Dear CEO of... <laughs> I cannot prove this, but <laughs> I own the copyright to remove it. need to remove it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> where is that effing shortcut, though? As far as I understand this... <laughs> So Crunchyroll probably works the same way. Oh my god. Mm. Thank you, John Reborn. (laughs) Brackets owner of Reborn. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you, John Reborn. But Robert is saying, Sin, I've been trying to tell you this for so long, there's a mafia baby in one piece. Oh my god! How many episodes is One Piece? Oh, it's like 900. Oh, well, looks like we found the next anime we're going to analyze after we're done with Reborn. But the thing is, One Piece is actually popular. Oh, no. Oh, okay, no, so no, no, yeah, no. You're, where you are on stream now is kind of where you need to be. It's like a place you can go down to. I have and to go down? You, you, like, drop off the side, like, near where the ladder is. And there's, like, a platform there's that leads you back to There's a ladder? I am so confused. You know so how you confused. kick down a ladder? Yeah. Where is it? Um. There's, like, a platform you can drop down. Maybe it's the next one. Might be up there. Might be further up the stairs. Okay. Uh, hang on. RLSS 88. England have outplayed us. I guess that's correct. Oh. Uh. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, you know what the irony is? My graduating project for film school was a film about cricket. Oh my goodness. How did it go? I just needed an excuse for someone to have a bat. Mm-hmm. Someone asking, there's a man-eater in the lower level of Undead Asylum. I don't remember that. We'll have to go back and check. Are we rushing the Four Kings? Well... Just gonna have to rush uh, Ingvard first. Yeah, there you are, I can see it. There's like a safe space you can drop down on. Okay, and now what? Then you drop down onto like the, the brick part. I, I did, but now I'm lost. I'm scared and confused. Yeah, that leads to where the ladder is. 
What? No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. There's oh, no ladder uh, here. It, you kicked it down. Oh, okay, let's wait for the delay. Okay, and tell me where the effing ladder is. Apparently, we are doing well in Korea. Oh, cool. Okay, see how below you there's, like, the supports for the bridge? Mm-hmm. You jump onto that. The ladder okay. is there. Okay, okay, the ladder, it's not here, it's there. And you said it's here. How do I jump on there? Oh, my God, it looks just dangerous. Just roll onto it. Okay. It's pretty, just, just roll toward it, you'll ah! be fine. Did you make it? Yeah. Good. Where's the ladder? Is it over there? It's like, you'll find it. There's not oh. many places you can <laughs> So stressful. Okay, found it. Like a pro. Okay. Okay, you'll be fine. Okay. It's going to be okay. Okay. Who's so, a brave chosen undead? I'm lingering chosen undead. It's me. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, Which way do I go now? Down not the, the stairs? stairs. <laughs> okay, not no, the, the stairs. No, the stairs is where you came from. Oh. So, rush to, like, there's, like, a, 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 you'll come to a structure, the structure has a, like, ladder that goes, up. you're gonna have to make it up the ladder without being killed, and that's where Ingvar is. Thanks for coming, Dave, appreciate it. Um, but do I go straight, or do I go right? Go straight down, like, continue along the so bridge straight. down okay. the stairs. Yeah. Go down, then, like, there's just a straight line leading to, like, a big building. Inside the main chamber of the building is a ladder. you got to go up the ladder. Um, if you want, like, there's a lot of ghosts in that building, so yeah. you, if you want to try, like, I go lure in the building? some of them out, we have no choice, yeah. Um, you can try, like, luring them away and then running back again to try to get to the ladder without alerting. I don't even understand what I'm supposed to do. Okay. I'm in the building now. Yeah. Yeah, this is the wrong way. What? The building is like there's um two there's it's it's like there's two um hallways either side of the main room. You know, I think I think you're gonna die. Oh, there you go. Okay, so when when you go into the building next time, instead of immediately going left, keep going uh -huh. through, and there's another door that okay. leads to like a big a big chamber. Okay. Do I like rugby? I don't follow any sports at all. I don't even follow esports. Oh. But yeah, I, I made a movie about cricket because I needed an excuse for someone to hold a cricket. You should have asked Yamamoto to hold a bat. Well, I didn't know who Yamamoto was. Oh. He would have been happy to have. Okay, question for everyone. If you could buy a video game and make remakes with an infinite budget, what would you do? If I could buy a what, sorry? Um, if you can buy a full video game franchise okay. and make remakes, what, what would you remake? Oh, that's a tough one. Um... Well, Meridex well, suggests I... Ogre Battle. That is an excellent choice. But by that, do, do we have to be involved in the remake, or can we just hire really good people to remake it all? I think we can hire the people to make it. Okay, Fallout. Well, what, the first ones? Remake them in the Fallout? Everything, yeah! No, just like new Fallout. Like Fallout but They've already, we've had one. several of those already. No, but just like new, 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 new. Like, and I would hire really yeah. good people, so they would remake it really well. It would be awesome. I, I would remake Evo Search for Evo, but I would that? add more things to it. That is a platform game where you start out as a fish, and then as you eat things, you get the ability to evolve parts of your body. <gasps> and you the goal is to, like, move forward in time and evolve, like, into a human. Mm hmm That sounds mm. cool. Yeah. People seem to know what Evo is. Nice. Yeah, we could we could stream it one day. We have to use the infinite Evo points cheap because, like, I'm not going to grind it. It's very very grindy. 
I played the played the third science row. It was pretty funny. But that's the only one I played. Harvey says he painted a picture of the feathered T Rex you can become in Evo and it's on his wall. What? Cool. Yeah. You'd probably like Evo because the animals are pretty cute, like the little cartoon. Okay. And you can evolve them to be like whatever you want. So you can you can be like a rhino with a giraffe's neck and lions. That's crazy talk. But it's all like it costs things called evolution points to do, so you have to grind every time all and it's like really I have an idea. Mm hmm Can how how do we get to the DLC? We have to do an Orlando before you do the DLC. Really? Oh, what can yes. we do that doesn't require an Orlando? The ghosts are stupid. You can do. You, you have to do this. This is not optional. Boyfriend. Has anyone seen my boyfriend? Let me text him. <laughs> Beat new Orlando for boyfriend, me. Boyfriend, do you, you want were like three quarters of the way there? Yeah, but now You're I'm, three I'm drinking the even more, and I'm just like, uh, <sighs> really? Like, like I don't, like I'm not even touching the ghosts, and they're attacking me. Like, why do I even have to go back there? And you know what? If Gwen really wants me to link the flame, why doesn't she just like helps me out a little bit? You know, why don't you give me the appropriate tools to work with so I can do my job? How about that? <sighs> well, he's currently locked in a tomb kind of directly underneath where you're sitting, so... Okay, okay, and how many... He has He has his giant daughter, he has his uh, son, he has his other... Like, he has yeah. so many people that could come and help me. He's nice. I've got some bad news. Yeah? When you meet Gwen, he tries to kill you. Why? Because he doesn't want anyone to succeed him. But doesn't he want us to link the flame? He only wants someone who is... Well, well does he want you to link the flame is a question. Why wouldn't he? Because that's what Frampt tells you, but, like, is Frampt... Is Frampt being wholly truthful? So do you think while Gwen was in the tomb, he was like, You know what? I had a lot of... A lot of time. I did a lot of soul searching. And it's just not worth it to continue the Age of Light. It's wrong. So I don't want to No, I think he just this. doesn't want to die. He doesn't want anyone to succeed him. He's already dead. Have you seen him? That is not a happy life. That is not a happy look either. Who's your boyfriend back yet? I think he's playing another game he got recently. It's uh Is it Death Stranding? No, that comes out in like November. No, it's a game and one of the characters he said is me. <laughs> the characters all like stressed and anxious all the time. <laughs> it was very cute. It's a game where it's like they're characters and they look anime, uh, but also there's a giant worm that attacks you. But also it's like you you move on little squares and then you press buttons. It's like a click like a click click baity click click bait. Click click click. Is it click. Gaia? Oh, is it Fire Emblem? I think it's it might be Fire Emblem. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Well, Fire Emblem is turn-based. Mm hmm So, maybe he can hop over here for like five minutes and get you to Ingvard. Babe, can you kill Ingvard for me, my love? Heart. Let's see if he replies. Because maybe he doesn't have his phone on him, so he doesn't... Maybe he went to sleep. Uh, aren't know. you in the same house? Yeah, but I'm I'm uh, I'm downstairs now, and he's like upstairs. You know, in the time it's taken you to have this conversation, you could have just run to him. But... Maybe I like having conversations. What about me? What about you know? Everybody's like, link the flame, link the flame. What about what I want in life? Huh? What about what not Sin wants? Flame. Yeah, maybe I don't want you to know, win the when flame. You, when you beat... Okay, then beat the four kings, because that will make Karth appear and link the flame. Oh. Actually, yeah. Alright, let's try yeah. this. 
<laughs> you know what the problem is that when I play games to get into the zone, I need something in the background. And I mm -hmm. have nothing in the background because we're talking and it would be disorienting. Ugh. Okay, I have an idea. <laughs> My muse just visited me. I have a Chinese Ghostbusters ripoff called Ghost Buddies. You could put that on. <laughs> That's cute. I have to find. I have to find the DB. Aww. It's in my giant crap pile. Okay. Okay. Wait, I know what I'll put on. You just wait. I don't think we'll be able to hear it. Yeah, you will. Oh, it'll be on stream, but I won't be able to. Yeah, you. Oh my god, why do you underestimate me, Richie? Just getting you hyped up. <laughs> I'm so hyped up. I don't think you could even imagine it. I know Harvey recognized where this is going right away. <laughs> that which commanded the stars. Oh no. <laughs> I recognize it now. This is me. <laughs> it's not you. What are you talking about? I I thought this was some horrible, like, Russian thing. <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 no. Shut that's me. It's a brutus! Is that you? Oh. You imposter? Don't tell me you, you don't, don't see it. it. Look up at the, the sky. sky. It burns. It burns. <laughs> I legit listen to this every day. I love a brutus so much. He's the best. Well, I'm glad I brought you some kind of happiness. <laughs> the best part is in the extended version, the original that appeared in the Elgin Train trailer, and trailer analysis at the end. He goes, um, can I have my baby? Harvey knew where this is going before Brutus started talking. Because <laughs> I knew for a heck Harvey that knew. one person recognized that it was Brutus is a sign no, that no, the no, character no. is possibly not as popular <laughs> as you think. Richie, Harvey didn't rec he recognized the theme. So before Brutus started talking, Harvey was like, I know where this I know where this is going. Harvey is the true stack commenter. <laughs> Okay, wait, got this. Also, the thing is, I don't hear the... Did you just say something? No. I'm hearing whispers. Ooh, spoopy. I don't hear the music, um, the, the, the sounds from the game, so I'm like playing yeah. in the blind, but with like my ears, and it's like, it's weird, you know? Yep. I knew where it was going. Oh. Ah! Ooh, sorry. <laughs> the edge scared me. Okay. Marshall points out that whenever you get excited about something, it's either a Brutus or your face. <laughs> your two go to references. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
You know, I'm going to be helping uh, Piku through Dark Souls at some point. Oh, yeah? Nice! Yeah, yeah. I sent oh, her fudge. episode one of this. Oh, yeah, so she can to learn be like, from see... us. Well, no, I went like, <laughs> see, it's, it's like pretty, like... It's not that difficult. Like, we managed to get this far with, like, no real problems. I don't think I'll send her this one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll also, I assume she won't be so level one and potentially intoxicated. Uh, who knows? You may just never figure out how to level. She, ah! Oh, fudging ghost! Okay, no, that was the, yeah, the, the big room with the ghosts in it is where you want to go. Do I? Do I really? Well, you know, we've all got to make, like, do things we don't want to, you know, want like. You know, we... People are saying you're doing pretty good for solo one, all things considered. Don't worry about killing them, you can just run. No, I worry about killing them because they scare me, and then they're gonna like jump out at me in another place. I can't handle that stress. I need them dead. Okay. Well, yeah, but that. When you try to kill them, you stand still. That lets them get to you. Yeah. Yeah, so. What you wanna do is. You were kinda on the right track, but you wanna run into the main the main kind of room at the end of that is a uh -huh. um ladder that goes up to where Inbar is. So I So you uh, you've made yeah, you're you're doing pretty well, like you're making okay. incremental progress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Richie. Look at Richie being nice to me for once. Is it because we're live on stream? Have you decided whether I bully you in private or <laughs> yeah, you seem to keep changing <laughs> You see what I have to deal with? <laughs> oh, listen to him! <laughs> There's a really good um, uh, old Rats of Prey video where they're, they're riffing a like really passive-aggressive monster in my pocket, let's play. It's uh -huh. two-player. The guy's going, can we please go, Tyler? Tyler, can you please go? <laughs> well, I, I can't scroll the screen, Tyler. I'm losing health because you're being a fucking petty douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Please hurry up, Tyler. <laughs> Does Dark Souls have badges? No. Mm. Where am I going? I'm a little disoriented. I think it was a mistake. What? To be drinking this heavily before a soul level one run. <laughs> um, someone's asking, are the Silver Knights primeval men? I think the Silver no, the Silver Knights are like their Gwyn's, their Gwyn's like buddies. Like you see them in the intro, Gwyn just shows up yeah. with the Silver Knights at the beginning. <laughs> they're his so buddies. They're not, they're not. Well, we don't know what they are, but they're not. They're not. People. No, I know what they are. What? What are they? What are they? Bratva. What's bratva? Uh, bratva, it's like a slang word to say like brothers slash friends. So it's like it's right. this gang, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. 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 I feel like we so, did. Uh, we, we've yeah. had suggestions for embers of Dark Souls and rings of Dark Souls. Are. Are there a lot of embers? What answer will make you not do it? <laughs> uh, well, I feel like there will be more rings, because I feel like there are a lot of There's rings. There's a lot of rings, especially in 2 and 3 when plus 1 is 2 damage. Because I got, you know this, I got a little burnt out on Bloodborne lore, so we need to switch it up a little, so I was thinking of doing, like, notes of Dark Souls, but, like, Dark Souls doesn't have notes. It has developer messages. Like, backstab they just like, and R, like... R2, heavy attack. But any, any, any other ones, or...? I mean, we could do that. Um, I don't think Artorius is meant to be... Because when you meet Kieran, she's like, she talks about your kind, she's like, your kind of more than dark. 
So I think our Taurus is he's meant to be like an elite, like one of Gwyn's Silver Knights or something like that. Like the word Loki uses this word, which is like it's not a game. Them, he calls them the the menials, as in like there's something <laughs> in between Stop! God and a human. I apologize. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. I'm sorry. I just gave myself a heart You went attack. the wrong way again. Did I? <laughs> yes. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! No, stop running through ah, that I'm, room. I'm scared. Oh, no. Oh, ah. God. You know the ghosts can move through walls, and if you run away, they'll just fly through the walls and chase you. Or will they? I can see it happening now. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to okay, me Okay, go back into the room. Instead of running, you know, there's, like, the room with the pots in it. Instead of running all... Oh, God, you're dead. Instead of running all the way through the room with the pots... You run, you run like that room has three exits. Instead of running directly across, turn around, and then that leads you into another room. <laughs> what? <sighs> I thought it was, I thought it was in the big room. I, I thought it was going the right way. Um, I'll draw you a diagram and <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm getting a little burned out on Bloodborne lore, so we need to like talk about something like doo doo of Dark Souls or doo doo of Demon Souls, you know? Doo doo of Dark Souls. No, like, like it means like blank, <laughs> like something of Sekiro. Oh, oh, we're, we did want to talk we're recording. about. We're recording a Demon Souls thing. tomorrow, but yeah, shh, shh, tomorrow, shh. yeah, yeah. But we're not gonna record, we're gonna answer questions, not record a to do of Demon Souls. I told my boyfriend to make sure that I'm up before 9 tomorrow in case I'm not, because I've been drinking. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna send- I just drew a map of where you need to- So I'll send it to you on Discord. Okay. Besides the world. Okay. Fire keepers of Dark Souls. How about that? Because it has some fire keepers, but not too many. Yeah. And well, you should fire keepers of the series. There's only two other ones after Dark Souls. Oh, you mean like the doll and like? No, there's there's just the Emerald Herald and then the. Oops. Oh, I what? Oh. Oh, you mean... What? I said Dark Souls. Dark Souls is the series. What? Oh, I thought you just meant the first game. No, no, like Dark Souls. Like, Did you know. see the map I sent you? Oh, I look. <laughs> um, okay, I try. Okay, I hope that makes sense to you. <laughs> Uh, RLS88 wants to know what you're drinking. Uh, they are 15 beers in. What I'm drinking? Yeah. It's a Japanese slipper. It has two... You want to tell people how, how you make a Japanese slipper? I forget how much it's... Okay, it's, it's you add... You get you take 20% out. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. You add 40% out. <laughs> right, yeah. And then you add a cherry. Yeah. Okay, and Bubble wants to see the map, I'll just send it. Yeah. Exactly. I forgot the alcohol percentages, but yeah. 
It's very good. And because one of the um, alcohols is orangey and the other one is like melony. And it's, it's, it's a very nice taste. And like it doesn't taste like alcohol because I don't really like alcohol taste. But this is good. Okay. Okay, I got this. This way. Oh, Mini just sent me a private message. Um, Pot. She's liking the stream, but she has to go to bed. So, thank you. Oh, thank you, Mimi. Thank you so much. Richard just sent me into a death trap room. Oh, God. Oh, God. One of them has red eyes. Thanks, Richie. Okay, this is the right way. One of them threw lightning Be at me. Yeah, behind oh. her is a ladder. Just go up the ladder and just, like, climb like your life depends because it does depend on it. Um, okay, you're dead. But it that was the right way. It is now. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying I need to do it as if my life depends on it? Mm hmm Wait. Wait, wait, sorry. I thought it was just... Wait, let's, let's try this again. Rewind. Okay. Do that as if your life depends no, no, on... No, 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 no. Okay, wait, wait, wait. One month, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. <laughs> wait. Um... Wait. So, are you telling me I need to do it as if my life depends on it? Yes. This is constantly coming out for me, but it's the soonest thing. <laughs> so, so someone is asking if there's more which in early versions of Dark Souls. I don't think there's more on Nito, but there's... Not the witch herself, but there's like a more to do with Isolith. This Isolith was pretty heavily truncated. But like, um, uh, Jeremiah, like the, people have noticed already, but like, Xanthus King Jeremiah is clearly meant to be like the, um, the egghead people, but like an ascended version, so his head is like absolutely massive, and like, he was connected to Isolith, and there's like a prince, the, the wall hugger thing is called Prince of Isolith, and there was going to be like the King of Isolith riding the bed of chaos and stuff like that. Did everybody appreciate more... the theme, the Tsuna's theme? Did everyone love it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. The um, the one percent of the audience <laughs> that watched it wrong loved it. Oh, thank you. Is there anything deleted from Ash Lake? I don't. I heard that Ash Lake the dragon was going to be the boss of Ash Lake, but that's just something I heard. I don't know where they got. Okay, who is the prince and what is the wall hugger? The prince is the wall hugger. The, um, the parasite <laughs> wall hugger in Blight Town's name is Prince Isolith. Mm -hmm. And, like, there is a reason why that looks like the thing growing out of Jeremiah's head. Why? Because he was going to be like Jeremiah was to becoming, like, the wall hugger. What? And, like, Bed of Chaos, um... Initially, that was that wasn't the fight you have now. It's like uh, it would have been like like a, the the sort of human shaped tree thing that would have crawled around the arena, and it could like it slammed you and it could fly and stuff. And that would have just been like kind of like fighting a dragon. But then they made it the puzzle thing it is now. And like if you look at um, uh, not Santa, some other person who does cut stuff has it, but, like, they have the, the, um, early, like, Bed of Chaos, like, animations rigged up. Holy shit, are you gonna make it? So they can hit Spoiler! You no, I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, you've got one transient code. I have but zero left, news... but it's not looking okay, the good news. Yeah. Yeah, the good news is that you can just run past them, you don't need yeah, that's what I'm trying if, to do. If you wanted to, you could 
run in to aggro them, run out, and that would, like, lead them out of the room. And then you could run really quickly, turn around and run back in again. And they wouldn't be able to catch up with you. But they move much slower how do I you. run back in if they're getting out of the room? Like, go in there, aggro the ghosts, run back out again to, like, the bridge area. Wait uh -huh. for them to start going through the wall, and then turn around and run back in again really quickly. Okay, okay, we can try um, that. Uthmathar saying you can use Jagged Ghost Blade is back. I don't think she has the decks to use Jagged Ghost Blade, because we're so level 1. So basically, I thought we were going to be stuck on Sif for ages, and then New Londo <laughs> would be fine, but it's kind of the other way around. Um, are all three patches the same patches? They have different titles. Like, the one in one is called Trusty Patches, and then the one in three is called Unbreakable Patches. But then when you meet him in Ring City, he's still called Unbreakable Patches. So I think it's... I don't know, like... Maybe he changes his name? I think Patches is, like, just something in, like, a multiverse. <laughs> I don't know. Because he's also in Bloodborne, he's also in Demon Souls. He's also in that other one. What? Oh, I'm a Cordia. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're, you're getting, like, slightly more efficient. So, we're making progress. Woo! We're making, making progress! progress. <laughs> Minor progresses of Dark Souls. <laughs> oh, I've been playing Catherine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting better at that too, but I'm stuck at this one level. Yeah. It's very tough. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, the neighbors are gonna call the cops. I need to stop. Jesus. Shoot. Did I make it through this death bridge? Oh, yeah, okay, no. Uh, I don't know why this is happening today. I think the ghosts are the true bullies of Dark Souls. See, like, the red one followed, the red eyed one followed you out. Mm. So, like, w if you can get the red eyed one to follow you out and then. You'll be able to get up the ladder without the third one like, getting here. So. Yeah. Uh, Eden's suggesting you cover the walls of this room with as a form of soundproofing. Oh, oh, that's smart. But wait a minute. People wait. Asking, yeah, it, yeah. The wall where I'm at is it facing the neighbors? No, it's not. Wait, let me orient myself in time and space. <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, because just okay, okay. I don't think they'll okay. hear me much because they're on the other end. Jesus Christ, life is complicated. Oh, I can't figure out where this room is positioned to, because considering the rest of the house. Don't don't think too hard about it. Just run past the ghost. <laughs> okay, Garmin. <laughs> Someone's calling you the TARDIS, because you have to orient off in time and space. <laughs> but unlike the TARDIS, I'm big on the inside and the outside. <laughs> well, if you'd read the novels, you would know <laughs> that during the War in Heaven, uh, Gallifrey did have war TARDISes <laughs> that were bigger on the outside than on the inside. What? Because they map they map their external dimensions onto their internal dimensions. <laughs> and they were... 
when they were... <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know if you're trolling or not. No, this happened. This happened. <laughs> Back when there were nine Gallifreys. <laughs> no. Nate were decoys. What? <laughs> Are we doing... Look, you don't a... want to know how deep this goes, okay? How do you know this, Richie? Because between 1989 and um, 2005... <laughs> Uh-huh. Wasn't on television, but the books kept going. <laughs> and the books got spin-offs, and some of the spin-offs themselves got spin-offs. <laughs> okay. So we ended up with such classics as uh, Time Hunter. <laughs> about the New Orleans time-sensitive detective. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we talked about some of this, um, I think, off the air. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Should we do an episode by episode of Doctor Who? Well, it is longer than Reborn. <gasps> no way! Nothing's longer than Reborn. I've got news for you. You. Yeah. Uh, it started in 1963. <laughs> oh. So... It has been going slightly longer than Reborn. No, but does it have more episodes? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, sir. Because uh, my boyfriend and I, we watch Doctor Who, but from, like, the new ones. Yeah. Uh, up until... You know when the older gentleman joined the crew? Like, um, we're, um, we're, like, halfway through that season, and then we kind of just, like... Okay. You ca like, it's not that it wasn't... But you know when you watch something a lot, you kind of lose interest eventually, like... Yeah, yeah. Or you burn out on it or whatever, so we kind of stopped there. But my, and one point yeah. out, we, we couldn't do episode by episode. But we do have audio recordings, so we could sit down and listen to those. Sorry, what? Are you cut out? What? And one's pointing out you couldn't do episode by episode because BBC deleted oh, their own. right. But... Yeah. We have audio recordings that survive, mm -hmm. so we could we could mm -hmm. watch those. We could listen to those. Yeah. 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 Who's your favorite doctor? Uh, I think it's Eccleston. Um, which doctor is that? The two thousand five one. The first one, like. The first of the new ones. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's pretty chill. My favorite is Tennant. No, he's not. No, he's not? Why, why not? He's screaming at everyone. Well, you know, that's when his he's, way of transferring... he sees the and he starts torturing it? <laughs> oh, well, that's his way of transferring chillness, you know? Are uh, people asking about what's the deal with Gertrude in DS3? Who fucking knows at this point? I know. Um, what do you think it was? Okay, so... Don't say she's Rosaria. No, Gertrude was, like, a sister of Lorien and Lothric. Yeah, don't we have a whole thing about it? It's in the very first episode we did, we talked about her. Yeah, because I remember you have a specific way of saying good. Gertrude, yeah. And Gertrude. The... <laughs> and then... Bonjour, je m'appelle Gertrude. <laughs> oh my god, that is the most beautiful thing you've ever said. Uh, we should teach Richie Russian. Yeah. As well as French. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking... Yeah, the French. <laughs> oh, damn. I was thinking we have to someday do some, like, lore in Russian. Because Soviet people li really like your lore. And so comrades right. were asking me, like, Hey, okay. are y'all gonna do, like, Russian lore at some point? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, Gertrude What do we think is... the original yeah. concept for Gertrude was? I have no idea. No, she was the sister to Lurian and Lothric, but then yeah. she got caught because she wanted to not link the flame or whatever, and then imprisoned, and that's it. But Lurian and Lothric yeah. escaped that same fate somehow. They didn't... Okay, okay, this is the confusing part, because Lurian and Lothric's whole deal is they're not going to link... Right. Mm -hmm. And that, like, Lothric is fine with that. Um, like, 
the Lothric knights are defending Lorien yeah. and Lothric. Yeah, okay, but that's because those knights are, like, sworn, uh, whatever, to Lorien and Lothric. And maybe if they got to Gertrud on time, or if whatever, they saved her on time, she would have been there too, but they just didn't. Like... Yeah, but Gertrude's knights are fighting those knights. Yeah, they're just, like, they're sad. It's their way of grieving. <laughs> just, they're just taking it out in other people. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, for reference from all of the Dug Up Dark Souls 3 stuff, there's no, like, references to Gertrude, so I don't know what the deal with her. She may just have been invented, like, at, like, like, like that's why she doesn't appear, is because they just invented, like, to explain some stuff later. Okay, you, you might be no, okay because... No, no, okay. Th no, they're, they're going up the ladder with me. If you lead them out, like they should. Hmm. Well, I did. Bring him back. All right. Okay. So the confusing part about the thing is that, like, the knights are sworn to Lorien and Lothric. The um, Emma is also like, even though she doesn't approve of what they're doing, she's still sworn to them. She's still like, I. She says like, tell Lothric that he must be the Lord of Cinder. That's still, even though she doesn't approve of what he's doing, she still, like, she doesn't turn on it. But then, weirdly, they do turn on, on Gertrude and lock her in the tower. Yeah, because the way it happened was that they thought they could capture the three siblings and be like, y'all link the first flame now. But then there was too much resistance, and so when they captured Gertrude, they, they saw that it was pointless, and then they locked her up in that tower, and then she, like, died, and then they're like, oh my god, what are we gonna do? We have two brothers left, and, like, obviously we can't, like, force them, because you see what happened, they're just gonna, like, die. So they're trying to, like, reason with them, you know? That's it's why cool, she's though. like, hello? Yeah, I'm there. I think Sim cut out. No, I didn't. I'm right here. You cut out. I can hear Richie. Can everybody hear Richie? I'm still here. We hear you. Oh no, Richie left. I think he went to sleep. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What happened? What Can happened? you hear me? Yes. No, it's, I was talking and you're like, you're cut out, you're cut out. And I'm like, I can hear you. You're like, oh my god, you're cut out. And then you disconnected and then I called you back. I also accidentally called me. me. <laughs> I just had to send, sorry, I was trying to call Sin. <laughs> you both have like a white background for your Discord icon. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> I think I woke her up while she was asleep. God damn it, Richie. <laughs> Calling people in the middle of the night. I bet you were calling her to tell her how, like, she can't beat the ghost. Look at that. She's been in Blight Town for like four hours now. Yeah, this isn't even Blight Town. Oh my god, your face is in Blight Town. Right, it's not Blight Town. <laughs> it's a human face. It's not a city. <laughs> oh, come on. What? What's happening? Just climb the ladder! <laughs> contribute anything and she raises her voice and she's so mean poor little gentle Richie oh oh did you do you do you Richie can stand up for himself just fine just so y'all know all those rich protectors he is fine <laughs> so tomorrow we're recording, um, we're not gonna, we're not gonna, I don't know, I need details, but it's a very special Demon Souls podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm winking at the microphone. 
Oh, okay. I can see now. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, God is like, protect Richie Covenant. You remember that? That's amazing. That's the episode where we had a Leon and uh, he made the jingle. It was really cool. The best way to protect me is for you to finally climb the ladder. <laughs> What rings do you have on? Let's see. I have... Because you don't need the Covenant now. I have Dark Moon Sians and Drusted Iron. Okay, you don't need either of those. What? You told me to put them on. What should I wear? Wear like the Ring of Steel Protection and the Chlorinthy rings. That might give you an edge. Havel, Bloodbite, Poison, Cursebite, Rare Ring of Sacrifice, Dragon Crest, Slumbering, White Seance... Hornet. Well, maybe the slumbering ring might not alert the ghosts. I don't. I don't know how their detection works. Uh, Did I give you the ring of fog? No. Oh, okay, then. Okay. <gasps> should I? Oh, I have something cool to show people. But should I show it now? Well, I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, I don't know. It's like I feel like I don't know. If this is the appropriate time, but I'm like, oh, I should really share. Like, oh, this is the it, but da ba ba. You know? I have to go for like five minutes. Okay. So when I come back, okay. uh, hopefully you will have made minor progress in this <laughs> eight-year-old game. Oh my. Did you all hear that shade? Oh my god, Corvo's here. Do y'all want to see Corvo? Oh, you won't see him because he's kept. Bubble, Bubble is suggesting you put on Havel's Look. ring and a heavier armor set. Can you hear Corvo? He's purring. Do you hear? Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's good. He's okay. a, a good boy. He's a good boy. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. So, how's everyone doing? Now that Rich is gone, let's start this game. It's gonna be easy, I think. Rich is just putting too much pressure on me and I be fine. Hey, Joshua! Excuse me. I'm a little, I'm a little, I might be, I might be a little allergic to Corvo. Okay. What's up, Dagusto? Hi, John. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't have time to mute the microphone because they just like, uh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Rent has the ghosts. Okay. Everybody's got to sing the Tsuna Tsuna Awakens music for me to make it. <laughs> Oh no, she's behind me. Yeah. They're all sort of like getting up on me when I go up. So, hmm. Somebody suggested Havel Ring and better set. 
Okay. Yeah, that was Bubble. What's a better set? Anything. <laughs> what is that? Because what you're wearing is, like, really, really light armor. So, like, I think I gave you Havel's set. You won't be able to run that fast in it, but, like... No, 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 check the defenses. Don't just equip shit at random. It's not random, it's pretty. Look! Oh my god, he's gonna be so confused. Okay. He's like, what's happening? Why are you wearing my outfit? Somebody's gonna have to go change. I don't think he does that. Yeah, he does. That's his secret dialogue. It's gonna be data mine because I'm an oracle. Ask, ask Nostradamus the vampire. <laughs> uh. I don't foresee this being revealed in data mining. <laughs> Okay, equip Havel's ring, check, like, your equipment weight, try to, like, equip bits of Havel's set that stay under 50%. You know I'm trying to help you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not annoying you. I got this! I can do this in this set. I did I, I did it in the other set. It's just they, they floated after me to the stairs. They're not going to float after Latrec because they know he's, like, Hibari, basically. I'm going to mess with him. Oh, I'm editing the episode of Reborn now, where Tsuna thinks he killed someone, right? Yeah, And then yeah. Hibari shows up, and he's like, we'll take care of the body, don't worry. <laughs> I'll send people from the committee to take care of it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of the ones where we learn that being in the Mafia, it's very important that you respect other people, like, the sanctity of life. And if you think there's been a crime committed, you have to tell the police. Yeah. That is an actual lesson that is in, that is given to a character in a show about being a mafia boss. Uh huh. It's a very good show. It has good morals. Oh, fuck. Because basically, they just wrote a show about ninja and then find replace ninja with mafia, and that's how they wrote Reborn. Mm hmm. F. <laughs> it's okay, I got this. It was just a little setback. I really love this set. It's so pretty. Yeah. Well, you can wear it after you beat New London. And look at the shoes. It's very important. Do you see how the shoes, they're like mobile. Like, it's not just one piece. It's multiple pieces stitched together so you can actually move your foot like when you walk, you know? That's very important to actual real armor. Because if it was just one piece and it was flat, you wouldn't be able to, like, bend your soul or yeah. whatever, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Great attention to detail. Richie, what do you think Latrak's story is? He's... Is this a serious question? Yeah! He's wait, wait, what were you about to say? Were you about to say Because it's like funny? laid out in the game. I thought you were meant to be like, you were just joking. No, tell us. He's a knight who serves Fina. Mm hmm. And he's going around murdering firekeepers to steal their humanity to offer it to Fina. Okay, is Fina cool and then, with that? Or? Well, well, from what I, well, from what we can tell, he gets to an Orlando, he gets to Guinevere. Uh -huh. and I think he believes Fina will be there or something because you find him dead like around where um, Guinevere is. Does he steal Guinevere's soul? No, he steals. No, that's that's um. Uh, it's a uh, three. Forgotten his whatever. Name, so fucking boring. Yeah, Chester. Uh, no, 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 no. He's like the master. other Chester. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's his name? Sorry. Lenhard. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he steals Rosaria's soul, and then you find yeah. it in Guinevere's. Yeah, Rosaria, who is both Gertrude and Guinevere. <laughs> Gersaria? Gertrude Nevere? No, don't, because then you'll be like, no, we have to do Dark Souls 3, soul level 1 is Gersaria. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's amazing! You want, to know something, you want to know something really depressing? Yes. I spent ages making a Gertrude build for Dark Souls 3. It was really, really painful to get working. Why? 
because I was trying to like keep below a certain soul level and only use divine weapons and everything. And I yeah. got her working, and I'm like, wow, this character sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> I just never used her after that, after Aww. everything I went through. Like, it's ages in the character creator making her eyes white so she looked blind, like... Oh, that's intense. Giving her the, like, stupid saint halberd that they make a big deal out of how it's holy and then if you give it the divine upgrade it doesn't make it any better. Oh. But just some random spear gets a better divine bonus. It's too bad. Okay, but what is what is Latrek's endgame? He's getting um uh humanity. No, but like ow. He's, he's killing firekeepers to get the humanity to um <sighs> Okay, that was that was close. I've gone closer, it's just once you go... I yeah, but uh... you, you were doing well, but you got caught on the stairs. Like, if you kept running, you would No, because gone. the stupid red-eyed ghost is there. It doesn't follow me. Do you want me to tell you what to equip? Okay, tell me what to equip. Hello, nostalgic douchebag. <laughs> okay, um, equip Havel's ring. Yes, it's and do you have a ring of favor and protection? Because I think I gave you multiple versions of that. Uh, ring of favor and protection. Yes. Okay, equip that. Yeah. It'll break when you take it off, but who cares? Oh. Because you've got multiple. Mm-hmm. Um, now check out, like, what, um, equip, uh, equip Mask of the Mother on your head. Because I'm pretty sure I gave you that. So that'll give you a hit points boost. Mask of the Father, Mask of the Child... No, I have Mask of the Father and of the Child. Or maybe equip Mask of the Father on it. Okay. Okay. So now stick like Havel set on and I think you should be able to um, run in it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, I can run in it. I love the rolls. <laughs> Just throws himself on the ground. Oh, uh, you're not running that fast. I'm running okay. Do you have anything else equipped? You've got a shield equipped, but you're not actually using it. Oh, I should. Unequip your shield. Okay, this is better. It's a Havel speed run? Okay, yeah, so just run through like this, you will have, like, much higher defense and hit points than before. Okay. You should, and hopefully you won't be staggered, because you'll have really massive poise from all the shit you've got to work. Okay. Corvo's being really adorable right now, I can't. Just can't. Okay, so just, like, run. Run! Heal yourself beforehand, because every little pixel is going to count. <laughs> every pixel counts. Well, it does. <laughs> oh, this is serious? <laughs> We've been here for hours! <laughs> is pretty neat looking actually I don't think I've ever worn it in Dark Souls 1 it's useful against the four kings oh yeah do the four kings not like Havel? it has pretty good magic defense for like um, if it's uh, heavy so it lets you like there's sets the sets that have higher magic defense if they're upgraded, but Havel's is like as is. You don't have to upgrade it, it's just very powerful. Mm. Oh my god, Havel is um Sasagawa. I've completely forgotten which character Sasagawa is. The extreme character. Boxing guy? 
Oh, the boxing guy, yeah. yeah. I think Reborn has twice as many characters as it needs. No, I think it has just enough characters as it needs. Like, who would you get rid of? The, the quiet girl who... She's, like, just sort of there and then she becomes crazy at one point. Is she crazy, though? I think she's just, like, chill. I would combine Sasagawa and Yamamoto into one character. Why? They're Yamamoto. completely different personality. What are, the, what are the differences to you? Okay, how do I kill? I'm up here. Are they gonna follow me up here? They won't follow you up, then. Okay, how do I kill this guy? Uh, well, pyro, weapons. <sighs> right, okay, let me get the shield. No, I don't what, need the um... shield. What level is upgrade is that battle axe? It's the the best. Fifteen. Yeah, as much. Can I backstab Six. him or? Six. You can't backstab him till he's um, till he's accurate. He's not that tough, but he'll hit you with soul arrows. No, I didn't want combustion. I'm an idiot. You kind of, ah. Maybe you do want combustion for this because like, I'm scared. It's a okay. You want to stick close to him because Why? his soul arrow is a long range thing. If you just keep moving, the soul arrows are probably... Like, oh no, I died again! Just... Really? Yeah! You seem to be doing okay on... Oh, you... no, you killed him! Ah, I killed him! <laughs> it was a ruse! <laughs> um, Yay! People asking what we think of Hawkshaw's video about the plot against the gods, I haven't watched it. I, it will... Hawkshaw's videos are so long that I, I just haven't gotten around to watching them yet, there's so many. I've watched them. I think their videos are pretty neat. I like them. Okay. Well, yeah. you have the key to the seal. So. Yay! You're almost done. Now you have to actually unlock the seal. Oh. So, I've got bad news. Yeah. Gotta go down the ladder. Do I have to go from the other side where the sleeping dragon is or something? No, 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 no. You go down the ladder and then you know the, the building that you're in that has, like, a door that goes out. Like, you have to basically go to the bottom floor of the building you're in and there's a door that goes out. Okay. Yeah. If you want, you can Homewood Bone back to Final Link Shrine. Um, but actually, there's not much because you're on full health now anyway, so you may as well just... Yeah, just, uh, just try. I mean, I have it. What's the ghosts, the, the, yeah, the ghosts will chase you, so... Whatever. Yeah. I got what I need! They can chase me all they want. It won't matter anymore. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bye, losers. Pfft. Noobs. Where do I go? Uh, go, like, downstairs Down. in this building. Okay, right. And there's, a, <laughs> there's a door that leads out. Loser noobs. Hey, bedsheet. Maybe here? You just went past it. You went past it. It, it was on the other side. Oh. Okay, it's the other side to the door you went out of. Oh my just god, keep... I don't know what door I went out of. They're all the same. All the same doors. But did you notice how I got much better after playing the Tsunas theme? Yeah, you got better after that, and after we told you to change everything you had <laughs> equipped to something that would let you survive multiple hits from the ghosts. Mm -hmm. We've been streaming okay, so... for three hours, though, and we have a special podcast tomorrow, so I think maybe it's time to call it a night. No! Because I, I gotta wake you up at eight! You will fucking not listen! <laughs> you fucking go and you undo the seal! <laughs> okay. You um... undo the seal! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> We're not doing any more new Londo after this. You undo the seal, so the next time we start, we can go straight to the four king. That's what you do. <laughs> okay, let me grab another.
Heather and Dr. Pfeffer. I'll be right back. In the meanwhile, you can tell people about how awesome our patron is. I should, you know what I'll do? I'll post a video that's literally on Patreon. I think if there it's... was a way to take money away from someone's patron, this is why people would do it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so the runes of Bloodborne. How many did we do? The best one is <gasps> the Impurity Rune, aka Drunken Podcast, which it doesn't think people should listen to. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna post that one. So this is a patron only exclusive, but you, here you go. You can listen to it. And if you like it, check out our patron for more stuff like that. I'll be right back. No, Richie, and you have to be like, yeah, everybody should know, but you totally great. Yeah, everybody should know, but it's so great. It's really good. It's going to waste your money at all. Oh, you, uh, patron, uh, actually, patron, patron's the reason we're doing this, because she's oh. set. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so level one run is patron goal. Yeah. Yes. If you think this is good, <laughs> I'm struggling here. <laughs> you can pay for more of it. And our next goal is a 10 hour podcast. Woo! <gasps> what is it? Just you going through new water? <laughs> oh my god, Shade! <gasps> Did y'all hear that, Shade? Oh my god. Shade. Okay, I'll be right back. Pro okay. you, you need to promote patron in your announcer voice, though. The, the awesome announcer voice. Everybody loves oh, it. Yeah. I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, pirate voice. Or patreon.com <laughs> slash Sinclair lore. There's a place to stow ye beauty in pieces of eight. <laughs> okay, I'm very bad. <laughs> <laughs> so so I thought that um that that most of this would be fighting Sif. Um but it's mostly it's mostly been um getting from the bonfire to Ingvard. And um I mean I, I imagined we would reach the Four Kings by the end of this. So I think once she drains the thing, that's like... We've we've pretty much gotten to the Four Kings. I know that the Dark Wraiths will be a problem, but she can summon me, and it's fine, because... The, the DLC, and I have, like, Black Flame, and plus, uh, plus five Ascended Pyro Flame, so I'll be fine. And we just got to get to the Four Kings, and um, it should be it should be fine, because if you just if you just equip like have all set and you stay in front of them and just hammer R one, you can do a pretty good amount of damage to them, and it doesn't really threaten you. Like I I didn't have any trouble fighting them so level one. Um, I said on the previous one that like. The biggest problem I had soul level one was Nito, but I found an exploit for Nito that makes him completely trivial, so I don't foresee us having any issues with um the endgame bosses really. Eden asking if a joke would cheer me up, sure. Is the joke my face? Also I've now like I've now given up, actually, with my summon sign, and I'm just wandering around New Londo killing Dark Wraiths. We will try to do Artorius. Like, I... I was... I was fine with Artorius by the end. Um, he took me a while to get his pattern down, so I usually don't do the DLC. But yeah, like, I beat Artorius soul level 1 in the end. And, um, we should be okay. It's just kind of, like, slow. So Eden's, Eden's joke is, uh, Dark Souls pick-up line. 
Hey, baby, are you a sunlight maggot? Because I want to put you on my face. Hi. Hi. I'm back. I, I gave up uh, with the summon, and I'm just wandering around New Londo killing dark wraiths. Uh, what did they ever do to you? Well, I, I wander out, and they try to kill me. But... If they, if they just ignored me, they wouldn't be... Maybe it's like self-defense. You're going to their house. You know? We just unflooded their house, if anything. We, we still Maybe they liked them. it flooded. I'm lost in first man asking if he can invade me. I've already beaten it. Game win, so... There's no new Londo invasions happening for me. Those were some weak burps. <laughs> it was weak, but you made up for it with quantity. <laughs> Thank you. I really like Dr. Pepper diet. Oh, do you? Yes. Yeah. Like, ever since I started drinking it, I can't go to Diet Coke because it seems too sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I used to be a Diet Coke fan. Yeah. And I can't drink, like, regular Coke because I find it tastes like ground. You know? Ground. Like, like ground, like gravel or something. Like sand. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Same with Pepsi, I find it too sandy. Yeah. Yeah. Do we think Havel was, was a dragon dentist? And that's why he has the dragons too. Oh. It's a good was question. he was he on the way to like install that tooth on someone? No, I think he pulled it out because the dragon had a toothache. Oh, but why didn't he just discard it? Why did he keep it? Uh, for the dragon tooth fairy. <laughs> the dragon tooth fairy. What would she give you? Well, Snuggly the Crow is kind of a tooth fairy. Because you give you leave items there and then you come back and you've got something. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, yes. I'm just like wandering around New Londo, figuring out kind of like what it looked like before it was found. Maybe you find lore. Oh, I oh oh oh, am I ah uh, oh no, that's wrong. Oh, I'm dead. I don't think I went the right way. Did I? Well, no, that I was the right way. That was the but right. But then way. where do you go? You just... There's nowhere to go. The... No, there is. You can keep going along that pathway. It's just really dark. Up on the stairs? No, no, the other way. Okay. If you keep going, that that like okay. leads to a uh, where the um. The key to the seal is the the thing you need to unlock with the key is. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, Corvo is so cute! I can't. You're so cute, Corvo. Corvo and Lambo are the cutest. Oh, oh my God! And he's doing like cute things. He's like, look, I can do this, and I can do that. Hello, Leonardo. Hello, Leonardo. Uh, we're just about to finish up. Sin just has to unlock the the seal from New Londo. The seal from New we'll... Londo. And then when we start again, we'll be able to fight the four kings. And the four kings. You want to fight the four kings? Ah, <laughs> uh, did I? Oh, okay. Sketchy kings of Dark Souls. Sketchy kings of Renas! Of Dark Souls! It's a completely black room. <laughs> Sketchy kings of Renas! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! How many kings what? are there in Dark Souls? It depends on how you define a king. It's like, is Gwyn a king? Or is yeah, Gwyn is king. Um, lots. Maybe we can do sketchy king arenas of Dark Souls. 
I mean, keep in mind, Sketchy Boss Arena wasn't the best, but it was among the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, whoever left that comment has done a lot of damage. A lot of very real suffering has happened as a result of you leaving that comment. Because it encouraged her. Are the four kings brothers or something? I have no idea what they are. Also, they look alike, right? They, they can be more than four of them. Well, it doesn't say more than four kings. It says four kings, right? Yeah. Huh. Oh my god, Richie. Oh no. what, what? What was that? Oh no. Why did you say that? Because you suddenly got very excited about something. Okay. And that, that often means. <laughs> okay, so you know four kings, right? But there could be more than four kings. Okay, you, no, you're on the right track. Do I keep going up? No, don't go up. Keep, keep following around to the side. and then Uh oh, you, you I just... went up. What do I do? Just turn around and go back down the stairs again. Sketchy stairs we're of We're going to do this. Sketchy stairs of Dark Souls. Okay, as I was saying. Sorry, I was rudely interrupted. Uh, I'm somewhere. I don't know. Do I go up or down? I'm in the round thing. Uh, yeah, go up. No, no, go go down. There's a I thing went, at the I bottom. You can... Well, it doesn't matter because there's no monsters up. But just go down and then there is a door you can I open. I go down? But I'm there's already up. a door up. you can open. The door leads to where the seal is. But I'm up. I'm afraid. There's a just, we'll I'm go afraid back to down go again. Down. There are ghosts. There's nothing down. The ghosts they will have gone. They me. No, they just follow me. Just go down. <laughs> okay. Now what? I'm down. I think. Keep going down. Go Do down I jump in the, the hole? Bottom. No. Okay. There's a lever. Do I pull the lever? There is a door. You Do unlock I pull, it with Do I pull the lever? From... Do I pull the lever? Yes! Okay. Yes! Okay, I pulled the lever. Uh, okay, it doesn't let me put the lever. Okay. That's a different lever. Keep going down. I opened the door. Yes, good. You're almost there. Now I pull now, the lever. Yeah, yes. Okay, I pull the lever. Thing, and we can all go. We can all just go. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did it. <laughs> Yay. I've never been this relieved in my life. Good job, Sid. Like, I thought Artorias Soul Level 1 was a relief when that finally ended. No, it's this. Oh! I saved Atlantis! <laughs> <laughs> now what? Now, now you can summon me and we can fight the Four Kings, but you said you wanted to go to bed. Yeah, I should. Can I jump down there? Am I gonna land? You'll land, but there's like dark rights down there. Woo! And Boom. you never have to do that part with the ghosts again. Oh, oh look! You can, okay, I remember this. You can aggro these guys and they'll fight the other guys. Okay, come fight the other guys. Yeah, these guys. Hey you, come fight the dragons for me. Hey, go fight the dragons for me, sir. Dragons! Fight him! No, not me, him. Oh, Jesus. No, dragons. Not me. I'm Pavel the Dentist. <laughs> oh, well, you did it. Yay! Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Richie. Could not have done it without y'all. I found the value of the lakes. Yeah, this is this is not where you want to go. This is where I want to go. Look, I'm going up. Know exactly where I'm going. You know, if you rest at the bonfire here, you'll have to walk the way back to finally like, shine through I'm gonna, the no, 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 I'm not gonna rest at the bonfire here. I just want to explore. Um. So as I was saying, do you know why there are four kings, but more than four kings, in the fight? 
Why? Okay, you know how boy bands sometimes have like up to 12 people or whatever? But sometimes they like break up. And so like they're, they're only like, that's what happened. They were like a boy band and then they broke up. And so four main ones were left and the other ones was sort of fired. But they like, no, we're staying. And we were actually, they were actually in the middle of just like resolving their issues when we came in. So that's why it's like the four kings. Because it was like, you know, they were trying to resolve it. It's actually like 12 kings. Please use the harm with bone. But if I die, I wake up where I need to be. Look, Dark Root. Look, a shield. Oh, a knight. It's okay, he's friendly. Guess that's it. We did good. How about that? Are you hyped, Richie? Are you hyped that next time we stream, we can fight the four kings? I'm less worried about fighting the four kings than I am about you just getting to the four kings. Okay. Does anyone have any last minute questions before we go? Eden, Eden, you brighten my day on the daily. Look, I found Havel. Bubbles oh. suggesting that I go drink in the bully now. <laughs> well, thank you for coming, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for, for guiding us, Richie. It's quite alright. Thank you to everyone in the chat. Mm -hmm. Who um, watched this? There's a question. Do you think the ancient dragons were from a past cycle? No, because by cycles they, they mean like cycles of the Age of Fire. The ancient dragons are from the um, Age of Ancients before there was an Age of Fire. Like, cycles only happen because of Gwyn, because he insists on the same thing happening. Mm -hmm. So Gwyn was like, <laughs> I wanted to know some Bloodborne again. <laughs> yes. Which is why you like Gwyn. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. You have a thing for Gwyn. Gwyn, that you like, Gwyn is was like a... misunderstood. Yeah, we were supposed to have a debate yeah. about it, remember? Yeah, but you, yeah, well, maybe after you beat Gwyn, we can <laughs> discuss it. Okay. Do you think heavy cleric weapons like Aegon's and Leroy's represent their burden? Yeah, uh, kind of, maybe, I don't know. Thank you. You know, in Russian, um, there's an ex not, I don't know if it's an expression or something, but if somebody tells you, like, you know, let's say, um, wait, uh, how does it go? Someone tells you <laughs> to stop streaming. No, what? Who told me to stop streaming? Wait, wait, I just wanted to, um, Jesus Christ, sin. <sighs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, yeah. So, <laughs> like, let's say somebody tells you, um, do you think there's going to be a secure DLC? And uh, you answer in Russian, yes, no, maybe. <laughs> do you know what that means? <laughs> what? <laughs> if you had to guess, what would you say that means? Does it just mean yes, no, maybe? No, it actually, it, it means one thing. What does it mean? Okay, it's pronounced Danet Daverne. It means no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I was looking up like different Russian expressions to like maybe bring up at some point in a podcast and stuff. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like reading it, I'm like, oh man, Russians are weird. John's asking if we're gonna do Death Stranding stuff. Yeah, because I pre-ordered it, so... We're gonna have to. I mean, at the you very... very excited. <laughs> at the... At the very least, we'll do like a stream, you know? Um, at best, we'll do like podcasts on it. But you do you you don't have it, right? So I don't have it pre ordered. No. Yeah. So we will see. I mean unless we're too busy doing Reborn season two. Duh. <laughs> See, there's, there's the antagonism between us and also the antagonism between you and the audience. <laughs> what really drives this. It's just like a dysfunctional relationship, given YouTube form. <laughs> How so? Because we're constantly just doing things we don't want to do. <laughs> but we're along for the ride anyway. to show something maybe I can I can show it now at the end does, does anybody want to see it mm -hmm. okay does anybody in the chat want to see it you know I can see like your phantom right now I finally can that so really oh yeah. okay okay I'm gonna go get it I'll be right back and then I show it okay okay I have no idea what she's going to show, by the way. Like, I, I don't know. Why did it have all the tray of the gods? I got no... It might be because Gwen sided with Seath. Because Havel's like a um, dragon hunter and Sin siding with Seath. Sin. Gwyn siding with Seath. I'm sure Sin would side with Seath as well. Gwyn siding with Seath may have like tipped him off that okay this is not not going great. We also know that, like, the Nameless King sided with the dragons as well. Why is Queen Yarnum bound? Um, that's, like, what, what Queen Yarnum is wearing. It's what pregnant women would be made to wear, like, during labor to, like, stop them from, um, like, thrashing around too much. Richie! Yeah, I think it's just meant to be that. Yes, Sin? Can you... <laughs> Can you can you see if a Brutus is around? I want to show him something. Yes. A Brutus, hey, hey, how are you? It's nice to see well, you. Not a great connection. I'm using a McDonald's <laughs> Wi-Fi. Okay, I wanted to show you something, Brutus, and I want you to tell me what you think of yes, it. Okay. Certainly. Okay. Okay. Do you see? With some screen lag. What? Oh my god! Oh my god! You made an idol of me. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful, thank you. It says, Ibrutus! And it says, You have specifically summoned me! And it's, it's a mic. <laughs> and guess, guess who drew it? <laughs> oh, who, who drew this wonderful picture? It was Ike! And I'm just saying, maybe, uh, you know how we did a patron giveaway for a teacher? Yes, yes. I, I'm just saying, maybe a Shunder's gonna be a post for a mug. Oh! Well, I certainly look forward to that. Are you hyped? 
Yeah, I have to go now. They're giving me the they're giving me the end up. <laughs> I haven't ordered anything. The waitress is staring at me. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Richie. Look. Hi. Look what I have. Oh, did, did, did I miss an appearance from a brewer again? <laughs> yes, you also missed this. Oh, it's such a shame. Look, look oh, at the screen. Oh, it's, it's an Ebruitus mug. And he's holding a little mug. Look, look. <laughs> look, look, he's holding a little mug. <laughs> and it says Ebruitus, and it says you have specifically summoned me, and it's so cool. <laughs> thank you thank you to Ike for doing this drawing yeah all of like the cute like chibi artwork that we do that's that's Ike <laughs> yes <laughs> people Hi. in the chat saying um put it down before you drop it <laughs> because you seem to have impaired motor function at the moment uh -huh. okay well, thank you for coming, everyone. Thank you, Richie. And, uh, thank you, Sen. We met. We made it. We made it! Yay! So next time we can do the Four Kings. Yay! Okay. Thank you, everyone.